podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're listening to the voice of the people. Let's get ready for Boxing Voice. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day. Hey daddy, this is Dollar Beat. Boxingvoice.com. No matter what nobody say, man. Spirit, can't nobody fuck with me, man. You know, I can't be fucked with, you know. D. Beyonce Productions. Whether you pay to see me win mm. or you pay to see me lose, mm. you're gonna pay. Mm. Look, if the kids still gotta eat, I don't have to watch, mm. you know, any footage of a, a fighter. Mm. I mean, because I'm Floyd Mayweather, everybody gotta watch me. I knew eventually I was gonna have to fight Oscar. Mm. I feel like um, I feel like he was straight up and down, no really no special effects. Boxingwoods.com. I can Canelo had the biggest deal. Your, your deal is for 300 million. And I made I made 350 million just in one fight. And you're fighting on the app. Boxingwoods.com. I'm a king, okay? Mm-hmm. I eat a feast. When, every time I eat, I eat a feast. And when I get up from the table, I don't give a fuck who get the leftovers. At the end of the day, follow my green print. Beyonce Productions. Boxingboys.com. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another edition of the Boxing Voice Radio. I am your host, Nesta Gibbs. Solo, Dolo, Scarface, no Manolo, but you already know that, though. We're here to discuss the latest news, the breaking news. Listen, they called me crazy when I said it. And now they call him Floyd a genius. Why? Because he's recommending that since both Terrence Crawford and David Benavidez are chasing Canelo, that maybe they should fight each other. And that audio is obviously on uh, a Fight Hype interview. Shout out to Ben Thompson that conducted that interview with uh, Floyd Mayweather via telephone. But obviously those quotes are all over the internet. Uh, Everybody's friendly reporter Michael Benson has uh, already picked it up and spread it through the internet so this is what we're here to discuss if you guys are interested then you know what to do smash that thumbs up button if you haven't already subscribed to the show go ahead and do that as well as it's going to help with the visibility of the show it's going to put this episode in the eyes of other boxing fans now obviously Floyd uh on not only Terrence Crawford fighting David Benavidez, but also Floyd said, if he can't get that Canelo uh, fight, go ahead and fight Boots Ennis. And the way that he said it is, look, everybody needs to be given an opportunity, you know, um, and someone has to give Boots that opportunity. And he's telling Crawford, hey, look, if you if you can't get the fights you want, you know, Boots is there. But Floyd Mayweather has suggested that Terrence Crawford versus David Benavidez should happen. If Floyd May, excuse me, if Crawford wants to go to 168 and wants to fight Canelo bad, and Benavidez wants to fight Canelo bad, if they can't get Canelo, they should fight each other. So here is shit. Here is that quote for those that uh, have not gotten the opportunity to see this here. Uh, we're screen sharing right here live on youtube.com forward slash the boxing voice. This is Floyd's quote. This is courtesy of a fight hype interview, but no need to play the audio as you can see the quotes right there. Now, there's more, right? Because uh, he did mention Boots Ennis as well. And this is Floyd on Boots. He says, some, and I quote, somebody's got to give Boots the opportunity. It's been difficult for Terrence to get the Spence rematch done. It's been difficult to get the Canelo fight done. So his other option is to fight Boots. And that was obviously Floyd Money Mayweather and his thoughts on what Terrence Crawford should do. But we're also here to discuss Canelo's PBC deal hitting a snag. 
the Charlo matchup is the sticking point. Uh, it looks like PBC is ready to do business with Jaime Monguilla, who would be across a promoted fight. It would be Fernando Beltran, it would be Golden Boy, and it would be whatever promoter that the PBC used. Then it would be a co-broadcast. But all rumors are pointing to the sticking point being that Canelo Alvarez is insisting on getting Charlo at the end of that contract. Now, the only reason I can assume that he wants Charlo is because that's what he was, you know, promised in the original three-fight deal. And this was conversations to reignite or revive that three-fight deal, meaning there's two more fights. And in his case, I'm assuming Charlo was already on paper. He looked at it like an easy bag. He still wants that easy bag. PBC is doing the right thing and understandably not interested in the fucking Jamal Charlo fight because nobody is. Um, what we need are official reports. The way that they're giving us these official reports of Jaime Munguia and, and, and Canelo insisting on Charlo, give us a motherfucking real report on a new offer for David Benavidez and Canelo Alvarez. But... The fact that Canelo, he's insisting on this Charlo fight, I get him. It's a business thing. It's like, bro, I had money in the bag. You know, I took this deal because you gave me these names and I knew I could beat on these names. Now you you doing the old switcheroo. So he's got to try his best to at least get what he originally was promised. But for me as a fight fan, I don't want that shit. I need PBC to, you know, stick to their guns and do not, pay for that Charlo fight. And 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 the same thing for, you know, the zone. Don't turn around if Al Heyman does not pay for the Charlo Munguia fight because only because he doesn't want Charlo. So he obviously doesn't do Munguia. We can't have the zone turning around giving us Berlanga. Because if you shut the door on Canelo, then there's only options of Munguilla and David available. So let's hope that, you know, Al's plan into pushing Canelo into a serious fight works. But let's hope also that, you know, the other guys play along as well. And, you know, like I said, play hardball. Don't turn around and, 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 and offer Canelo Berlanga just because you see that PBC has, you know, closed the door. Play hardball as well. Tell them you only want the high May fight, you know. Tell them you're willing to do exactly what PBC is doing. What is PBC doing? Offering high May on Prime? Well, fuck it. Offer him high May on zone and, 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 and Benavidez on zone. But do not offer Charlo. We, we don't want that. We really don't. Charlo should be fighting Adamas. You know, uh, I did an interview with, with, with Jose where he revealed that Adamas was offered. You know, the guy started at 54. They wanted him to move all the way up to 68 to fight David. Just give him the motherfucking Charlo fight. He's the interim for two conventions now. Like, I, I, I was with him in Acapulco when they made him the mandatory they done had another convention in Kazakhstan and we still ain't get the mandatory fight or this champion strip. It's just insane at this point. You know, they really need to do something. Um, they should not be offering Carlos Adamas to David Benavidez. They should be letting that fight happen on the undercard or rather letting Carlos Adamas fight, you know, Jamal Charlo on the undercard of possibly a Crawford and a David Benavidez, which once again is what... Uh, Floyd is suggesting. Now, this is something that I talked about three months ago, you know, telling Crawford to just go ahead and fight David. You know, plenty of you guys say that he gets hit. Plenty of you guys say that he is a, you know, one-dimensional fighter. Uh, Crawford has been, you know, talked about to have these amazing skills, you know, Take that Canelo fight by taking a piece off the board. We, we've we said this millions of times. And, uh, you know, Floyd, just saying what I've been saying, man. Make your own path, you know. Take that piece off the board. You can't get the Canelo fight 
Fight David. You was willing to move up anyway. I mean, the Charlo fight makes zero sense at this point. You know, even the zoo fight makes zero sense. If he wins, then maybe because he keeps the title, but you wouldn't get the glory from zoo that you would get from David. Let's be real. David is a career-defining legacy fight without a doubt. But phone lines are open if you guys want to voice your opinion on Floyd Mayweather suggesting Crawford versus Benavidez. Again, something I've been told you fools he should have done three months ago exactly. We got three different shorts on it. We got a whole episode on it. And I really hope that Crawford, you know, does it. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say that, that Floyd is being hypocritical because he never moved up to fight Triple G, but Floyd didn't have the body of Crawford, let's be real. He, he, he never got as big as Crawford. He certainly never weighed as much as Crawford. Uh, I highly doubt he has the reach of Crawford, you know, uh, and he's, he, he can't switch. You know, Crawford is just a different animal, um, and because he's a different animal, we would love to see him with the monster. I know I would. And there's more pay-per-view buys in a Crawford David Benavides than there is in a Boots Crawford. Plus, you know, you have to make weight. You haven't fought since last July. Can you even make weight? Were you not preparing your body to move up? I, I mean, vacate those titles, by the way. I swear to God, when this was Devin Haney, I was on his heels. I ain't hear a motherfucking... Nobody call in to say, damn, why is Crawford holding up the goddamn division? Hello? Fucking March. We in March. We four months away from the fucking month they fought in. And, and all you ass kissers ain't said a motherfucking thing about him vacating them belts. Meanwhile, meanwhile they done stripped the, the all holy hell out of Jamel. They ain't left him with nothing. They ain't left that boy with nothing. You got a lot of politics, as I'm telling you. Look, 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 at, look at Charlo, the brother. He, can, he gets to keep his one lone title while the other one, who actually undisputed and actually fought, he fucking gets stripped of all of them. It, it makes zero sense, man. Zero sense, bro. But shout out to Floyd for making me look like a genius because there is no bigger fight, man. Um, I get it. Canelo would be bigger for Crawford. But this is the next best thing. And I also understand, I'm going to say it. Yeah, look, it don't mean he'll get the fight with Canelo. We've seen David fight Plant and Demetrius Andre, just like Canelo instructed, and he didn't get the fight. Canelo said, go ahead, you guys fight each other, and I'll fight the winner. That hasn't happened yet, so... For Crawford, I can see how he's going to be like, man, I'm not fighting that dude. It don't mean I'm going to get that fight with Canelo. Um, and it could possibly scare Canelo off. You fuck around, beat the shit out of David, you know, you really ain't getting the Canelo fight. So you in a rock and a hard place. But for Crawford, there is no bigger fight not named Canelo. Not named Canelo. Meaning Canelo not on the table. Crawford boots, it's cool. Crawford Thurman, okay. Crawford Zoo, uh-huh. Crawford Mel, why not? Crawford David, it's a whole different story. It's a whole different story. I think that um, there would be more hype because people would be afraid for Terrence Crawford's life. We got Tevis Smith with a $10 super chat. According to Floyd, None of that matters because skills pay the bills. Exactly. Exactly. Um, except he never did it with Gennady, but that's okay. That's okay. He did other things. You feel me? Um, he moved up from lower than, Flo than, 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 than Crawford, right? I think Floyd was fighting that featherweight maybe. I'll double check while I get straight to these callers. We got who exactly? And don't forget for our members... And our, uh, yeah, our members, early access to our second part of David Benavidez 
uh, interview is available. So all you got to do is come on over to YouTube. And if you're a member, you'll be able to check that out. Early access. The rest of the public will get access to that on March 7th. So three days till early release. So I mean, for early, early release. Um, we're going out to Ant in Georgia. What up? Yo, what up, man? What up? Um, man, Floyd, stay asking motherfuckers to do shit that he would never do, man. Get the Say fuck out of here. Getting getting Crawford in here with, with Benavidez. The fuck you talking about? Motherfucker walk around over 200 pounds, guaranteed. Bro, Crawford, Crawford posted that he was like 190. Oh, please. No, yeah, then that's after a good breakfast. He probably hit the buffet, probably put some rocks Come in his on, pocket. Man. If you scared, Get scared, you scared, out man. out of here, bro. It's the most ridiculous shit I've ever heard. It's the most ridiculous shit I've ever heard. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, we you going to talk about the heavyweights, man? This shit coming up on Friday. Bro, we got time for that boring-ass card. You a hater. I knew it. I knew it. You ain't had had dude come on. You ain't had dude come shit. Bro, I mean, AJ, 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 and and Nganu's the only fight that matters. Actually, not nah, an undercard too. Joseph Parker and uh, Zhang. That yeah, is a good fight. That's hard. You hate him right now. Yo, I don't it's know Monday, why. bro. We gonna get to that shit. I don't know why you hate, man. My heart is breaking right now. I, I was excited to talk. I would have seen a counter. Oh man, we be talking about this shit. You weird. That fight that's never gonna happen. This Carver a better going, fight. This a better Carver fight. No, it ain't. That fight no, is made already. Mom, already so we get to talk about that all week. That's made already. This is a better fight. It's never gonna happen, man. It's never gonna happen, and I hope to God it never happens. Why yeah, not? That Crawford, because Crawford ain't dumb. There's weight classes Why for a reason. Why you gotta be dumb? Because you want to challenge yourself. Challenge yourself, right? Go, go up and fight a light heavyweight. Yeah, right. Please, no, it, it won't. It won't happen. Well, I hope to he God ain't it doesn't. Technically, a ha- light heavyweight just yet. So stop, stop, stop trying to gas it. He ain't a light heavyweight just yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He about to fight. He about to fight that 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 dude right there. It he could be fighting it better than it, it ain't official. The Crawford fight bigger. He could easily, you know, they could easily pivot. That's what Floyd doing this. Hell week. nah. Floyd, listen, Hell nah. Listen, listen. They trying to get Canelo back to PBC. They trying to get Crawford back to PBC. They trying to pick up the pieces, man. So, so how can Floyd Mayweather never fought um Andre Ward then? You know, he'd be yeah, right. He would never go near no ring with no fucking Andre Listen, Ward. Floyd he never fought the Luffkin. Floyd, Floyd's not huh? Crawford. Crawford's a different beast, man. Floyd is not uh, Crawford. A different beast? I, Crawford. I mean, I mean, he's he's like 40 years old right now. And, and y'all talking about him moving up to damn near light, a fight a light heavyweight. This dude... But Benavidez is a big ass dude and he's he good. Hey yo, like, hey yo, hey yo, we gotta stop. You can't be asking to fight Canelo in the same weight class that got more one punch knockouts than Benavidez, and then you sitting here trying he to protect Benavidez size though. He's short and he's stalky. Benavidez no, is you, tall and listen, long. You can't protect Crawford, bro. Like either he you want him to fight Canelo or you don't. He can't have protect his cake and eat it too. He'll, He'll be a minus ten thousand underdog in Bruh, that fight. It, plenty, the odds plenty will Loma, never be close. Plenty of Loma fights that the odds was like that. Plenty of Loma fights mm-hmm. odds is like that. I I, I don't it see is. what we afraid of. So like, oh, we want Crawford to fight Canelo, but we don't want him to fight David. Like, this sounds weird. Honestly, this sounds weird. Like, Canelo didn't pick and choose what super middleweights he fight, and he fought them all. Whoever had the belt, he took it. He didn't say, oh, you too big? Like, y'all weird, bruh. For real. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Mexican style. Muchas gracias. Champion. Campion. Josh, what up? My godness. What's going on? Chill it. So, so by now... So by now, when I say something about the PVC, you got you got to believe me, right? I guess what one and done. I'm one and done. I've been okay. I'm giving you the I'm giving you the sauce right now. Coming up in the oven, Crawford versus Adamus 160 WBC. We don't want that. Is they That's stripping? We're get. Is they stripping? Is they stripping Charlo? Cause we don't want that. Yeah, they're gonna. Yeah, Charles gonna be out the way this year, hundred percent. Full title, 
Terrence Crawford, Carlos Adamas on the way. Jamel Charlo would be in the mix at 160 also. I don't like that. 150, 154 is dead. Unless you're fighting so, Tim So, so see, see, make it make sense. People trying to protect Crawford from, from David, but Carlos Adamas on Twitter the last 48 hours saying, like, yo, I accepted the David fight. I did an yeah, interview with Jose. Adamas, but... I did an interview with Jose where he said, yeah, they offered us the David fight. So, like, we can't be protecting, bro. Hey, shout out to them. If they want to go fight David, cool by me. I know there's an option on the table for the Adonis fight at 160 full title. So that's what I'm hoping for. There's already the history of them sparring. Oh, Adonis that's sparring, crazy... man. That shit from like 50 years ago. Man, that shit's 10 years ago, the same way the whole internet was just in a frenzy over Tank and Devin 10 years ago. And then also, I've been telling you that Fulton Figgy is uh, Figaro is in the cooking. I'm telling you, they're both in camp for a good reason. That's what I was told. I don't know what undercar is going under, but I'm hoping Tank and uh, Tank and uh, Frank. I'm hoping Tank and Frank. But it, it's in the cooking. So all these topics are good. All this is good. And then, Ness, I wanted to cook you this morning, but I was at work. You were talking about why does Al keep putting Charlo's name on the contract? Who doesn't want to be in the business of Canelo? Bruh, Who doesn't want to be so in the you business rather of lose, you rather lose just to say you did a fight with Canelo? Because they're reporting that it's what? clearly going to be a lose. They're clearly saying it's going to be a loss. If they pay him the $35 well, think- million, it's going to be a loss. So it's like... Why do you keep, like, don't put him on? I mean, it don't matter now. He listened to me. The new report says that they are not interested in uh, Charlo. Ha! <laughs> Gay! Well, I mean, I'm still hoping that they're not against the Charlo, but. Why? I mean, it just, I mean, Why? I know. I'm saying I'm hoping that they're still against Charlo. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't want, want that. Fight. I don't want that. But I'm just saying, if Canelo is insisting on fighting this man, of course I'm going to put him on the contract. I want to be in the business of Canelo. Nah, man. That's freeze it. him out, bro. Don't offer him Charlo. No, and then when he goes to the zone, don't offer him Berlanga. And now he's got but nowhere to go. But you know they're going to offer him Berlanga. But they don't have you to. Know that. They don't have to. That's but what I'm saying. Will. Freeze him out. Over but, here, all we got for you is motherfucking an option with Jaime or, or, or the David fight. Oh, I don't I want mean, that. That's in a perfect and then world. let him turn over there and be like, all we got for you over is Jaime or David fight. Like, we'll pay for the David fight too. Yeah, that, that's in the perfect world, but somebody's going to give. You want to be in the business of making I money, mean, so. I'd rather not be in the business of losing. And he losing with, with Charlo. But look, that's the call. Appreciate you. You the man with the plan. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't be stingy. It's free to hit the thumbs up. I'm trying to get to like a thousand thumbs up but remember 500 unlocks the live chat the links to call in via twitter or discord are right here pinned on youtube.com forward slash the boxing voice right now we're at 191,547 so we need about another 500 subscribers to get to 192,000 i need your help i'm trying to get to a million you know one sub at a time we got damien he says, if PBC wants to sacrifice Charlo, give him the David. Exactly. Exactly. But honestly, David don't even deserve Charlo at this point. Charlo is just so irrelevant. And, um... Never been a lame Never been a lame Lame right now, bro. Let him get his shit together. Nobody's uh, interested in Charlo at the moment, bro. $5 Supreme Tax. That fight, lame. We good on that. Oh, oh, David and 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 and, and Terrence is lame now. Y'all just scared because y'all think Terrence. Oh, he needs oh. some milk. Mm-hmm. Scared if he get in there with big old David is gonna be some real shit. But all of a sudden he'll knock out Canelo and 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 and, and he's too. He'll beat Canelo easy. But when it comes to David, no, 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 no. That's no fear. That's no fear. He's too big. Like, this shit makes zero sense. How's the man that can knock out Canelo? 
you know, a dude that's never been dropped to stop, all of a sudden too small for David. You guys got to cut the bullshit. Unbiased Brim, what up, though? Ness. Brim. My brother. What's good? <laughs> I can't call it like a full alcoholic. All right. Please have no male mall on any type of contract. Unless mall's fighting plant, I don't care. Don't let Canelo put that on the fight. I'd rather it be Benavidez. That's what we all want, but we look like we're not getting that. Now, in regards to Bud and Benavidez, I'm cool with him challenging himself to fight Benavidez, just like he would be fighting Canelo, but there is a difference. Canelo is a smaller man, but I've always stated I would prefer Bud to fight someone before that, get acclimated with the moving up in weight before challenging himself. Now, I felt that way with Canelo. Now, Benavidez is even a bigger guy, so he, I, that even more... that makes me more emphatic that I feel like he had, should have a fight at a higher weight before even challenging them in regards to that. So I'm not I'm not the one that's going to be like, oh, I'm scary, that's not fair. No, Bud got skills. Now, can he beat either one of them? He could. Could he lose to both of them? Absolutely. But I personally think he should fight at a higher weight first. The Adama's fight doesn't move me, but it does have pre prepare him moving up in weight. It does. Now, um, the whole thing with Floyd, though, Floyd get on my nerves, bro. He do. Because you talk about something that you would, if he was in that position, you wouldn't do, bro. So it's like, why are you opening your mouth about something you ain't going to do? You wouldn't have did it your damn self. And when it comes down to, um, I just think that if Benavidez, at the end of the day, PBC should be forcing the Benavidez fight as the next fight. After the Mungia fight, they should be trying to force the Benavidez fight. I don't understand. It doesn't make sense to me. That's your most profitable fight. I mean, if they put that on the table and Canelo says no, at this point, based on the circumstances, that just means Canelo don't want to fight Benavidez. You know what I mean? That's what it basically means. Super duck sauce. Am I wrong? Yeah, man. Um, I mean... uh. If they put David on a contract with the right amount of money and he says, no, yeah, that's a duck. I don't think it's a duck because he wants Charlo. He's just trying to get what was originally on his contract and make Man, that Man, come on with that Charlo shit, bro. As no, a, as a competitor, it. you know that ain't no competition, it. bro. I don't want he it. He shouldn't want it either. As a competitor, he should not want that fight. He know where that man's state is. Yeah, but, state of mind but is. Come on with the you talking about $35 million, though. You talking about competitive. He, he looking at it like a check. You stealing a check away. That's all he looking at. Yeah, you look, look, you're still in the check and you're hurting the sport of boxing. As the cash cow, you got to set the tone. I mean, you, again, you're doing 35 again, million for a fight. Again, that, that, was, that was Al that offered that fight. Not, you know what I mean? That's and not their that's 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 Exactly. And that's why he's sticking to his gun. He's like, bro, that's what you said. You know, I just want but you to say, I just want you to deliver. Isn't that over with now? No, because. And we he, dealing with the circumstances now? No, because uh, the, the, the quote being used is reviving the three fight deal, meaning it's not a new two fight. It's two more fights to revive that one fight that was there. So it, 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 it's going based off the guidelines of the old deal, clearly. But that was the bell Man. player player. You already Holla. know. We going out to J. Will. What up? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You tripping. You bugging, man. I'm about to cook real quick, bro. Look, man. You the same guy that was posting pictures of Benavides when he was 10 years old. Say he's 200 pounds. Canelo shouldn't have to fight him. But you trying to compare Bud to Canelo. One is a 147 pounder. One is a 168 pounder. One, one nigga's in the same division as Benavidez. They the started other one is, five pounds from each other, so you could just dead that. Say that again? They started five pounds from each other, so you can dead that. It, it's, it's not where you start, it's where you at. Exactly. So where they at right now? And where does, it's where, where does you Bud, at right. Where does Bud want to go right now? To fight Canelo. Okay. So, so he cherry-picking okay. then. Say it. Say he's cherry-picking. That's what I love. That's what I love. So... 
We got here. So today, you call man. it? That's what it's, it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I'll no, shut no, up. No, I'll no, shut no, up. It's no, all no, good. No. I mean, hold I already on, caught you. I, I don't got to talk anymore. So, 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 Ness, Ness's narrative tonight, fellas, is that a 147 pounder is cherry picking a 168 pounder. But, but Canelo's never ducking beat him. He won't admit that Canelo's is ducking Benavides ever. But because Mayweather proposed this, y'all. And Mayweather think he's slick. He's trying to kill two birds with one stone. He's trying to get Bud beat, and plus he's trying to help PBC by generating a decent fight for PBC. That's all the fuck Mayweather's trying to do, man. As you can see, he he feels so so um, uh, he's so paranoid of his legacy being tainted by one of these younger guys in this new era like Devin or Bud. So he's as a as a uh, promoter, he's being real conniving with certain ways behind the scenes and shit. We all can see it. Conniving. Vanessa's acting like he's hey, a... Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Axon Crawford to fight another 68-pounder is conniving. <laughs> the way he... First, yeah, the way he proposed it, and then the, the narrative you pushing oh, is that he's cherry-picking now. How he he's cherry-picking now. How he's he cherry-picking. How did he propose it? Well, if Crawford can't get Canelo and David can't get Canelo, they should fight each other. Oh, my God. Floyd proposed it so, so wrong. Ew. Look at him. Ew. You're funny, bro. Hilarious. Bro. So. so, so look, so, boxing so, guys don't even want to so, hear you. That's why they're not letting you talk, bro. They know, so, you, they know you crying. So, fighting them. One of the Tim Zuki Thurman to that. Know, they know you crying, man. But you said something about Zoo, so all I'll say is Zoo ain't bigger than David, man. Uh, I, Zoo not bigger on? than David, man. That's okay. all. Bro, you wildin'. At the end of the day, you been exposed, man. For the, the niggas cherry picking. Letting us tell it. That's my call, man. Nah, I hear you, champ. I hear you. Um, I mean, I thought that was the definition. If you only want to fight one certain guy in a division, that's a cherry pick, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. And remember, I tried to defend this stance, right? Like, I tried to tell people that nobody fights anybody they think they could lose, but y'all seem to believe people looking for challenges. Nah, they see a person and they see a flaw that they think they can capitalize on. They never pick someone they think they can lose to. Like, again, it's, it's members only, but listen to my interview with David. You know, I say something and he spazzes on me because he thinks he can beat everybody. Uh, if you don't think you can win, you in, you in the wrong business, you feel me? But you certainly not about to pick someone you think you can lose to. Even the best fighter is looking for the flaw in the fighter he's going to fight. But y'all can live in a dream world. All I'm saying is, imagine Devin going to 40 and saying, I'm only fighting Ryan, not Tio, not Matias, not anyone else, only Ryan. You know how y'all would flip on him. But it ain't Devin doing it. It's Crawford, so it's okay. Nasty work, I tell you, man. Y'all terrible, bro. Y'all gotta learn to keep the same energy, man. Cause this shit, this the type of shit they come back and haunt y'all. You feel me? See, I always wanted the Crawford fight versus Davis, so I ain't got no worries. It's the rest of y'all, little cherry pickers. Big Gucci. What? 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 Up, TBV. Everybody, smash that like and subscribe, man. Yo, how's the audio sound? Straight. Yo, Ness, on my arm, bro. I like you, man. I like you, bro. But why you got to jump out the window, bro? Are you crazy? David Benavidez versus Terrence Crawford? Bro, I thought Crawford was on record saying he would never fight Benavidez. But look. That's Crawford, but let me let me let me let me let me give you this. Let me give you this right here. I forgot to play this because, you know, I smoke weed every day. 
Oh, yeah, it'll be dope. I have a lot of respect for Terrence Crawford. Yeah. And uh, just because I want to fight, if we would fight, doesn't mean we have hard feelings for each other. He's definitely a great fighter. I'd love to fight him. Let yeah. me let me loop oh, yeah, that. Oh, yeah, it'll be dope. I have a lot of respect for Terrence Crawford. Yeah. And uh, just because I want to fight, if we would fight, doesn't mean we have hard feelings for each other. He's definitely a great fighter. I'd love to fight him. Oh, yeah, it'll be dope. Last time, last time, I yeah. swear. And, uh, just because I want to fight, if we would fight, doesn't mean we have hard feelings for each other. He's definitely a great fighter. I'd love to fight him. Call out. But look, call out. But look, Ness, that's that's David saying that, man. That's David we're and all Floyd saying, now. David and Floyd now. This yeah, David, look, we, this was David in November, right before his fight with Benavidez. He was ready. Before Crawford even started thinking he was ready for Canelo, David was ready for Crawford. Don't get scared now. I mean, of course. Of course. No, that's not. Look, that's an easy fight for Benavides, man. That's what we're all saying. Of course, Benavides is going to call his name out because that's a big name, big money <gasps> fight, and it's what not you mean, a easy hard fight. fight for I, 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 I thought Bro, Crawford on, was the dude that was going to stop Canelo. Look, the reason Crawford wouldn't fight him, and he's on record saying that too, man, it's the risk versus the reward. That's an extremely high risk, man, and the reward is probably moderate. But with Canelo, it's it's a no-brainer. You're going to get that bag. You're going to get that bag versus Canelo. You're going to get all the belts. But with Benavides, he ain't getting no belts. Extremely high-risk fight. We're talking about a dude that's going to be in the heavyweight division on fight night, bro. Like, Crawford is going to rehydrate to around, like, 172, 175. David is squeezing down to make that weight, bro. That's his, that's his smallest division. And now he's thinking about moving up, man. I don't know, man. I don't know about that one. But yeah, that's all I got, man. All right. Um, we got Ryan Frazier, five dollars coming from Canada. He says, "If Crawford fights David, that's some real gladiator ish." Let's go, man. That's a great fight, bro. Green print. I mean, I don't, I don't see what's not. Like, oh, low reward. No, it's not. David been on pay-per-view. He did 175 with Plant. You know what I'm saying? It could be sold. It could be sold. And don't forget, like 175, that's like 14 mil. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of money. They going to do better than that, though. Q, Q and Nort, $5. He said, May wouldn't go up to 160 for GGG, but say Bud should go to 168 for Benavidez. Laughing my ass off, rolling on the floor. Mayweather is a troll. Say what you want, Ness. King Devil Advocate. No, I got shows. I could I could literally, I'm actually going to take a call and look for my episode where I was telling Floyd to fight Gennady. I keep the same energy, man. I keep the same energy. I wanted little Floyd to fight Gennady. I thought he could beat him. Now, I'm not saying I think Crawford could beat David. He in a whole different shitstorm. That's that's a tougher fight than Floyd beating slow-ass Gennady. All, all Floyd had to worry about was the, the, the power. You know, uh, unfortunately for Crawford, he got to worry about massive speed, combination punches, and, 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 and power, plus true grit, competitiveness. I mean, and the fact that the kid's a monster. He's a fucking monster. Let's be real. I mean, look. We know he ain't going to take it because that's a real fight right there. You know, he's looking for a bon voyage payday. Nothing wrong with that at the end of his career. Floyd did it too. But if he looking for a challenge, he looking to really see if he, he that one. Well, then, you know, David is right there with the flaws. With the flaws. I I, I could show a, 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 a clip I posted today where it's like, 50 sign comments, people talking about he get hit. I can't believe how many people talking about he get hit so much. I'm like, damn, what y'all see that I don't? You know, but ain't nobody running to jump in that ring with him, even though they can hit him, huh? Tip Bellas, what up? <clears throat> Yo. We hear you. What up? Yes, sir, man. Damn. Uh, I guess protective custody outside of the call, but uh, call law. That's damn. What what you say? Protective custody. They don't pull it up to the check, man. Call for protection program. Oh this yeah. Getting crazy out here. Yeah yeah. They, they don't, don't want to see him in no tough fights. 
I ain't no dog at Secret Service. This shit crazy. These boys done pulled up in black suits trying to stop everything. That's damn. Just a week ago, you know what I'm saying? Just a week ago, they was talking about Bill Crawford could move up and beat Canelo at 168 pounds. Now they done pulled not, up. The not black just suits. beat. Remember, they were saying he could stop him, though. I got to remind no, everybody. Stop him. Stop him. That's, now they done pulled up the, the black walkie talkies, the the black slacks, the suits, the glasses, you know what I'm saying? Pulled up the SUVs, all the vehicles and shit. Talking about, nah, we can't allow that to happen. This shit is out of control, man. I thought, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all like when fighters dead to be great, man. What's wrong with Floyd saying, you know, if Crawford want to fight Canelo, he should fight Benavidez. And then I understand y'all want to bring Floyd up. But I mean, Ness, I mean, tell me if I'm wrong. Was there ever a fighter Floyd called out at 160? Nah, nah, you know nah. What I'm he he stood in right, he, so he stood in his lane. That's what I'm saying. Like, if yeah. you calling out Canelo, then you open to the division. Like, it's just, it's like Boo Boo Andre. Boo Boo Andre felt some type of way. What he said? He said, "Yo, stay down there. It's some killers at 68." He 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 said the message to Crawford. So it's like everybody gonna feel some type of way that you trying to jump up, come to my division, cut the fucking line. And take the cash cow. Nah, you can fight me then. And, and I said this before. I remember I, I was talking. He was talking about this like a month ago. I was saying, look, man, he can fight Jaime. Look, I said the Jaime fight done passed. I, was I, like, I, I love the Jaime fight. Him. The Jaime fight probably more winnable than the David fight. For sure, for sure. But you know what I'm saying? I was saying Jaime. I was saying David Morrell. You know what I'm saying? I was like David Morrell to kill him. So I'm like, damn, y'all only want Bud to get the easy fights. Shit. Put him, put him in there with a boo boo. Let's see how he do with a boo boo, man. I think boo boo on his skill level. You know what I'm saying? It'll be a good showing. I'm not paying for that. You you want to pay to see him fight? He boo-boo? coming off a knockout loss. I'm not paying for boo boo to get another payday off a loss. Like I, I love boo boo. You ain't gonna pay for him to fight Charlo. So I mean, would, would you pay for him to fight Plant? Who? Even even Plant coming off a loss too, right? Who so, I mean, though? Man, Who? Morrell, uh, Terrence Crawford. Nah, man. I mean, it's very limited the names I want to see with Crawford. I take, I take Boots, I take Boots, I take Jaime, I take Canelo, I take David. Um, I guess I take Thurman Zoo winner. Hopefully, it's Thurman. I don't know. I, I, I don't really. I'm not really. Yeah. You know. I don't right know. Right now, Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford is praying that Tim Zoo win. I'm telling you now. He's praying that Tim Zoo win. They don't want to fight no killers. I told y'all, Mister once a year, don't want to fight no killers. He don't want to jump in the fire. I mean, I'm he always saying, wanted man. the Thurman fight, so I, I, I'm sure if the Thurman fight, if Thurman win, he'll probably want that. But but that's my thing. You think Zoo, who been doing business with, with, with PBC, all these fights, going to lose the Thurman and ain't going to be no rematch? I don't believe that. I don't, I don't believe that. There's going to be a rematch. I, I, that's how I feel. Al in the Bay. What do you say? In the meantime, we got Tevis with another $10. Go ahead and drop the bomb. Two $10 back to Bird. Bovers Mall, win against Canelo in September. Problem solved. Negative. I don't want Yo, 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 can you hear me? Yeah, I don't want Maul. I don't even want Maul if it's Bud fighting him. I don't want Maul. Let Maul go do something. Let him go fight off TV. Get it back. Go ahead, Al. Uh, yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, man. Um, my thing is, his bud been out for a while, and Benavides is about to fight, cause that fight is already signed, right? Signed, sealed, nah, and delivered. Nah, 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 nah. I'm sure Floyd, being Floyd. You know, that fight is not announced officially. You know, yeah, David could change his plans and do a super fight with Crawford. Come on, what's bigger? David versus Alexander Vazdek or David versus fucking Terrence Crawford? I would love to see that fight. You know, he beat the, he beat the, I guess, what, the big brother already? So now he got to beat the little brother? Well, the little big brother, Word. like, like my brother be line. telling me, Same the little big line. brother. Same storyline for Canelo beating brothers, yo. Crawford could do it. I love it. Yeah, and uh, if he can't, if he can't get that David fight, 
I would say if he do move up to 168, go fight David Morrell. Take that uh Ooh. that strap from David Morrell. Who Crawford? David. I mean not David Crawford. Yeah. If you can't get that Benavidez fight, um, you know, go fight David Morrell. Take that strap from him. Uh fight my Billy. That give him credit on 168. And you know, Canelo can't say he's too small because he then he already beat two 168 pounders. So um that's the way I look at it, you know. If uh, David go that way and, you know, move up, you know, I'll, I'll tell him go fight David Morrell, take the strap from him, bring, bring David Morrell to uh, Nebraska, and then go fight my Billy, and then, you know, then Canelo can't say he's too small, you know? Now it's like, okay, now I just beat two people in 168. Now what's up? But I think Crawford only won, what, two fights now? And then he's going to retire? If that's the case, you know, that Canelo fight ain't going to happen. If that's the case, if Zoo wins, go fight Zoo, and then go fight Jamel, and then retire after that. You know, if he, if he only won two fights, that, that would be the two fights. But if he's looking for more than two fights, I'll go fight David Morrell. If, he, if he's looking at more than two fights, though. That's that's the way I'm looking at it. But if you're looking at two fights, you fight the the winner of Zoo, which Zoo gonna win. I have no I have no doubt that he's gonna win eighth round knockout. I'm saying it right now, live on your show. It's gonna be an eighth round knockout, and then he's gonna fight Zoo, and he can beat Zoo, go fight Mel, beat Mel, retire with all the belts, because he's not going back down to 147. I don't see him going back down on 147 at all. Because he, he was like he was done Chad, with 147 as well. That's the bell, uh, Allen the Bay. We got Danzy, $2. Celebrating his first Super Chase. He says, but I ain't scared of no Keith, no Tom Thurman. Get the fuck out of here. We got Bo Rogers. Bo Rogers. If you're watching this on YouTube, get and smash that yeah. thumbs up and subscribe. Bo, we hear you. Yeah, Yo, can you hear me? You can hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Terrence Crawford ain't gonna, 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 he didn't want to go get back. He didn't want to go back. He didn't want to go up to uh, 168 and fight Canelo in the first place. That was just a foul chasing thing he was doing so that people would leave him alone about roots. Because his fans ain't never requested him to really fight nobody except for Earl Spence his whole career. And that's the only reason. They they don't care who he fight now. Like, if him and Spence, think about it. If Spence and him, who don't want to fight? Terrence Crawford fans, so if they go fight again, that fight should do good. But one thing I can tell you, the Spence fans going to buy the fight. It's Terrence Crawford fans who ain't going to buy the fight because he don't really got no fan. He just a hired gun, and he just he don't really want to fight nobody. Floyd was telling the truth. It's time for all these got people out here to put some respect on Floyd's name. It makes me sick to my stomach when I hear these little young motherfuckers out here who ain't did shit disrespecting the legend, the smartest motherfucking man. Why everybody want to get money with everybody else, but you want to get money with me? I'm hating on you. How the hell I'm hating on you? I got I done it. And y'all want to take my style and run with it. That's cool. I was the first one with it. That's for, the, that's for these guys, these young boys, I swear. All of them false alarm. If Terrence Crawford really want to get on that level, he'll do exactly what Floyd said. But he'll never do it. And y'all will never ask him to do it. That's why I don't even give Canelo a hard time. Because he did all. He had done a whole lot more than all the other guys. Fight who they want to fight. I'm cherry picking. Any way. All these big guys calling those guys. I don't respect that shit. Go fight somebody bigger than you. Then you can goddamn do that. Try and, try and make sure you speak into the into the receiver, yo, because you're going in now. Right there, the last couple of words, obviously you were sounding great, but you know, you was you was cutting out pretty bad. 
I'm outside in this damn wind, probably to start blowing. But that's all I got for the mic, man. Right, I hit you up, though. Nah, you the man. All right. We got James, yeah. Atlanta. Yo, Ness, you hear me? Loud and clear. Yo, this is funny, man. Yo, what happened to all the, you know, the past few weeks or months, people been calling Bud a water walker. <laughs> saying his shit don't stink, <laughs> all this and that. Now you can got potentially real smoke. You know he ain't going to take that test. Like, let's keep it real. Would we get, would we get but major respect if he even called out David Benavidez and tried to challenge him? Definitely would. But the people that support Bud, they don't want him to take that test. I mean, it is the second biggest fight in boxing. Like, who else can David fight to really make close to a Canelo pay that? It'll be Bud. Same with Bud. That's like the second biggest fight for him as well. All I know is Bud ain't gonna take that fight, man. This shit this topic is hilarious though, man. Ness, man, I just I just wanted to chime in. I'm at the gym right now trying to get some work. But I'll say this though. Oh, shout out to all the water walkers. Shout out to all the Bud fans. Dude, dude gonna might as well retire, man. We're gonna fuck around and see him fight. They're gonna advertise and say, hey man. Him and Spence back in renegotiations. They're going to fight for some vacant belt at 154. And that's what it's going to be. Ness, that's my call, man. And shout out to all the Keith Thurman fans because we all know that Bud really don't want that smoke for Keith. I'm out. All right, James, appreciate you calling in. We got Fats on the check-in. Fats, you there? Adrian. What's up, man? What up Thank with you? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Like I always say, I got to be appreciative, my brother. I'll kick in the back here in my backyard, smoke some green. You know, just chilling. It's a Monday night here in Boxing Voice. Mr. Ness himself. It's a great show. A great show. Mic check. Mic check. Let me see. Okay. All these motherfuckers want to talk shit about Terrence Buckcroft. They want to talk so bad. Oh, he's this, he's that, retire. Relinquish the belts for Boots Ennis. Do this and that and this and that. Man, shut the fuck up with that bullshit. Let Terrence Buckcroft go up there with Benavides. Flat-footed ass piece of shit of a monster that they say he is. The Ecuadorian, Guacamolean, Arizona son. They don't even know where the fuck he's from. Easy ass bite, easy ass hit. Terrence Buck Crawford goes up there and knocks that motherfucker out. You heard it here first. For all y'all Terrence Buck Crawford people calling, we don't want the fight. We don't want the fight. Fuck that. You want the fight? I want the fight. I'm a Buck Crawford fight. I'm a believer. And for all y'all dissing Terrence Buck Crawford, uh, y'all think y'all from Dallas talking about Errol Spence. I'm from Dallas. Fuck Errol Spence. He showed who you is, his flaws, just like Benavides. Terrence Buck Crawford's going to go up there and knock that motherfucker out. Same thing with Floyd. Oh, we got to respect Floyd. He did this and that. He's one of the greatest of all time. Respect one of the ghosts, like they say. I'm going to give you respect to a certain degree. You never fought fucking Paul Williams. Margarito tapped you on the shoulder, and your ass went running like a motherfucker. Talked to Bob Arum and said, we don't want that fight. We don't want that fight. So don't give me that respect at the end of the day. I'm going to tell you like this. Benavides, you talk a lot of shit, and you talk like you want the fight. You don't want the fight. If you will want the fight, you will go up to the press conference. Go to the damn boxing where, uh, where, where Canelo Alvarez is at and say, I'm here. You see me? I'm Benavides. Make it happen. Everybody wants to fight. But guess what? He's going to, uh, he's going to 175 to fight a European bomb. The same motherfuckers that talk shit about Canelo, he only fights <gasps> European bombs. Fuck what y'all talking about. Everything y'all want to say, y'all want to come in here, y'all want to come at it, get it. Because it's D-Block, D-Town, D-C, D-Ville. Baltimore, stand the fuck up. I salute, salute. Fats. Yo. What up? What up, what up? Am I reading this right? Canelo still wants Charlo? Yeah. <laughs> right, look. Look how you had to say that. You ain't even want to say it. That's your man. That's your man. I told you, look, this is sad, yo. 
I mean, yo, I mean, is- champ. Um, we done went through this. You know what I'm saying? If, if if I got an agreement to get paid a certain amount of dollars for a job, and I signed for that. We going to court, man. I want my easy thirty-five million, bro. You can say what you want, but but it's not my fault. Al put a a dude that is not on Canelo's level on a contract for thirty-five million. So Canelo want that easy payday. It's just as that simple. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like anybody get off of the job. For that amount of money that they know they can do, we going to do it. And we going to want to get paid for it, too. You ain't going about to just pull out because you feel like all of a sudden now it don't make sense. But that ain't what this paperwork mm. say. This is your boy, man. Listen to him. I mean, you him. know, both of them is my boys, man. You That's, know? <laughs> That's your boy, man. Listen to him. But, it's, I mean, it's still crazy. But I don't think, you know, I don't think David really pushes for the fight like that neither, though. Because how you fighting a guy? That's uh, ain't ain't like his trainer, ain't ain't the dude like uh, Renoso fuck with the dude he ready fight yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. When I found that out, that's crazy. Then Ben Avida try his father try to play like he ain't know it and shit. Like, come on, man, you knew that, man. Don't try to play dumb like you ain't know who it was. But um, yeah, that's sad though, man. All this all this duck sauce out here, but that's your boy. He, you got yeah, you know I mean, you got accept it. But shit, Crawford, I mean. I don't really agree with Mayweather because I don't like the Mortal Kombat matches, man. I mean, this is this is silly. You get what I'm saying? Like, oh, oh, him oh, fighting Canelo Mortal Kombat. was silly anyway. It's Mortal Kombat. It, it been, I've been saying it was Mortal Kombat when he was calling out Canelo. I mean, it's it's silly. Like, it, none of them gain anything from beating Crawford, man. They supposed to beat him. Like, you, Bruh, you, you Crawford's three a weight two, classes. I just two time undisputed. He the only male to well actually I a know. new way a new way too. Like, nah, that means son, you get that scout. I, I rock with Crawford. You know, I like Crawford. Crawford's one of my favorite fighters, but I'm just keeping it real. I, I ain't want to see him fight Canelo. It's just, it's just silly. Like, it's just silly, bro. I ain't, I ain't into the Mortal Kombat matches, but hey, shit. I mean, if he willing to fight Canelo, shit, why not be willing to fight David? Word, word. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Word. Shit. That's what you I'm saying. You won't go there and fight him. Fight, you know what I mean? I don't got a problem with it. I think both of them silly. It's a silly fight. I ain't going to lie. I think he should just fight Boots. Fight boots, you know what I mean? Just fight boots, or I guess what they saying he supposed to uh, get the win out of Thurman and Zoo. I, but I, yo, yo, if I'm Crawford, it's like yo, they want me to fight Benavidez, Canelo, Zoo, Charlo, then Boots. Like Boots don't got them options. We want him to fight Crawford, Crawford, Crawford. Like this, like. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not one of them mm-hmm. dudes talking about, oh, yeah, I want him to fight Barrios. Nah. People that want him to fight Barrios, they just saying that because they want him to get a little Mexican so he could, like, get his name up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, mm-hmm. So it's like, Boots don't got the options of Crawford. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I mean, wish, I, I, I wish he don't did. get me wrong. Uh, yeah, don't get me wrong. I, I, I know they in the big fight. I was joking and shit too earlier saying that, you know what I mean? You know, boots just for the Atlantic City, but I mean, realistically, I mean, I think he probably got like what? How many fights you think he got in him? I think he probably got like one or two. Ooh. Look like he really only looking for one, Crawford. Nah, nah, nah. I don't even know what's up with Crawford, but that was the bell. But I don't know what's up with Crawford because yeah, uh, it was revealed. It. it was revealed that he turned down mad fights, bro. He turned down the the boots fight, the Charlo fight. I got to get that report. Uh, I think, what was it? Uh, is it No Smoke or what's the yellow one? I don't know. I got to I gotta check, man. But but he turned down a few fights that the PBC allegedly was offering him. That was pretty crazy because, I don't know, some of them was all right. But I get them too, you know. They not, they weren't, none of them was like big fights, you know. Um, I think probably the biggest was uh Mel in that order, like Mel Boots, something like that. I'm gonna try and find it. We'll get to this next caller. Shark G, what up? What's the word, TBV? What's Shark up with you, man? 
Yeah, man. Floyd's my guy, you know, man. You know, I still got him as a TV. Well, let's keep it a buck, man. He's full of shit. He really but you ask him, but to do something, man. He, he, you know, he damn well was not willing to do. So we got to keep it a buck, man. I mean, but, but Floyd, up. Floyd never talked about fighting dudes in those type of weight classes. Like, you know what I'm saying? So... I get that, but he fought Cotto at 154, and Triple G said, yeah, I come down to 154. He said, I understand the business. I ain't no big guy. He's like, I just made 158 last fight. How y'all forget that? And the same people that was, you know what I'm saying, that was crying when, you know, when I was suggested. I was against that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not necessarily against that, but, you know what I'm saying, I didn't think it was necessary. And I still pick Floyd to, to, you know what I'm saying, if there was to fight during that time, to, to, to beat him. I'll box him. But you got these same dudes, same people over here. So now Bud need to, oh, Bud need to prove himself. And they was crying. It was like, nah, Floyd don't need to do that. Floyd don't need to do that, man. They just try, they just trying to hate on Floyd. They just trying to see Floyd lose, man. They can't, they can't accept the greatness. It's just, it's just bizarre to me. But, you know, it's, it's, once again, man, it's, it's Floyd being Floyd. I think he just, he's, he, if he's not trying to stir the pot, but he's just want to try, he's trying to bring attention to himself. And um, but honestly speaking, I don't even have a problem with that fight. All Benavides got to do is take his B side, bring his B side ass down to one fifty four or somewhere, somewhere in the middle, maybe one sixty. I'm all for it. Because he is the beast. He is going to be the beast side if, you know, if, they do, if him and Bud do decide to fight. So 160, 154, I'm all for it. What you say, Ness? Yeah, I, I, he ain't coming down, bro. I, but, well, I mean, shit, he's the beast side. I mean, is he? He's the, he's the money side. Crawford the one without a huh. deal. Crawford the one without a deal. I, I mean, Crawford don't need him, though. But it uh, and that's cool. But it's it's Benavidez. They got the money, right? It's it's his team that would be putting up the money. It's his team that would be sending the contract, and his team that would be airing the fight on Prime. You know. And I get that. And he ain't near. He ain't near the the money man that Spence was. And look at the deal Crawford got on that. I mean, I'm just saying. I, I like I said. I don't have a problem with the fight, but it's. Let's just make it somewhat competitive. I, I still got Benavides. That Buck Crawford is my favorite fighter right now. Even at 160, I see Benavides demolishing him because of the height, length, you know what I'm saying? It's just, but you know, maybe with the catch weight and shit, but has a little, you know, has a little, has, has somewhat of a chance. But that's my call, man. All right, champ. Brandon, what it do? Hello, hello. Hello, Listen, hello. it's funny y'all were saying about Bud Crawford, arguably the greatest welterweight of all time, uh, that he, if he moved up to fight anybody in the upper divisions, that he'll get knocked out. You sound crazy, bro. I don't know what's wrong with y'all talking about Bud Crawford like that. Watch your mouth, bro. Because honestly, Buck Crawford is probably the greatest right now, if not the greatest number one pound for pound fighter in the whole uh, world. So don't be talking like Buck, like he's he's just not a professional type of dude who can knock people out in the ring, bro. Like I don't understand why people think he can't just knock people out. He really has that power if he decides to. So just listen up about it and don't don't be always saying, well, if he fights Benavides, he'll get knocked out. You sound crazy. Why would he get knocked out if he's fighting Benavides? He can obviously win win a fight against Benavides, whether it's decision, whether it's whether it's whatever, however it goes, he can win a fight. He can win a fight against anybody in uh, at super middleweight. It's not like he's not pretty big for, uh, for a for like a welterweight type of dude. So he's just fighting in a division that's smaller guys. So the only weak the only weakness argument you can make about him is that he's he's a pretty big guy in a smaller division, so that's why he's king right now. So that's why people are challenging him, trying to tell him to move up a little bit uh, and fight these bigger guys in these upper divisions to see if he can still win. That's all they're saying. They want to see if he can get a taste for these upper divisions and then try to fight somebody like Canelo 
and then see if the, what happens with that. We don't know necessarily. Um, that's the challenging part about it. So I guess we'll just have to see what Bud Crawford does next. I saw something saying he's going to fight in Saudi Arabia. I'm all for that, too, if he's just looking for a payday, whatever, bro. Uh, but I'm, 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 I'm a big fan of his and looking forward to see what he does next. I don't know what he'll do next. It's just different speculation at this point, you know. But people from Nebraska are so crazy. <laughs> like, he has he has his own day named after him. Like, what? Is this guy crazy, bro? I don't know. But he's funny as hell, and I like watching him as a fighter. I got to see him fight again, and uh, looking forward to it. Um, but for real, guys, man, Bud Crawford, he, he, uh, people say he's on Floyd Mayweather's level. Do you agree with that? Like, Floyd Mayweather was like an all-time legend, and he's 15 I mean, and, Floyd, 15 and Floyd, Floyd beat a, a, a young Canelo, man. This is this is Bud's chance to beat a young Benavidez like Floyd did, you know? True, true. If he beats him, I mean, that's a different story. Yeah, man, you got to fight him, you know what I mean? You can't, you, can't, you can't beat him unless you fight him. Um, Shark G, you there? Yep. Go for it. Now you, you just. Oh, I, went I was to, just on. Oh, I went but, to you. My yeah. bad. My bad. Uh, J in LA. J in LA. Chappy got a mute. I know. Ooh. Ew. What's that? And what's that? And that's how my audio sound, bro. Street. Man, look. Check this out, bro. I agree. I agree with if you want to fight one guy at the weight club, you should be open to everybody at the weight club. But the Benavidez fight don't make no sense, dude. That's... Uh-uh. That man Think been about... on pay-per-view twice. How it don't make no sense? Man, so so when Andre Wall went up the light heavyweight, what, what did he do? What do you mean? What, what, he what, do? what, what, what did he do? What, what, what route did he take before he fought Kovalev? Uh, he had two tune-ups. He didn't fight the biggest bad. Yeah, he had two tune-ups. Yeah. It's Benavidez as a tune-up. No, right? You wouldn't classify Benavidez as a, as a tune-up, right? I mean, Earl don't do tune-ups just because Ward took that's two. Earl, from, man. Yeah, and again, that's, that's Earl, Ward. Earl different. And that's Earl Ward. Different, man. And that's Ward. You trying to make Bud Ward now. You trying to say Bud, Bud got to do what Ward doing. So I'm saying, hey, no, don't... Bud could do what Earl doing. Man, Bud could do that. Bud I could, did. but why? I why? Did. Why not the plant fight? Why you don't want to see yo, Bud yo, versus why, plant? Why, Bird, why don't you Bud just? Why don't Andre. you just say you trying to protect? Who's got the key? Why you just? Why you don't just say yo? I'm just trying to protect him, bro. I don't want to feed him to. to, to I'm not trying to protect him, man. Course, don't nobody want course, to see that fight, bro? Who want to see that fight? That's oh, so you saying we want to see, see that? So we don't want to see David and Bud. We want to see that's a fifty-fifty fight. We want to see. We want to see what Bud and Plant. You just said you funny. Y'all funny. Yeah, I read it. So that that's not a good fight. Bud and Plant not a good fight. Bruh, I'm shocked. I lost my sound bite. I ain't know I was gonna need it today. You motherfuckers is scared. This shit. Funny. Man, ain't nobody scared of nothing, man. That Lies. that's Can- man. That's Canelo job to fight that man. That's not Bud. <laughs> That man, that man, Canelo is the undisputed champ at 168. You How you gonna let somebody else come up scared. and fight the guy you supposed to fight? You scared, man? Nobody scared, man. Like I said, if they make the fight, make it. But I don't recommend it. I don't recommend he fight better v, better v that. Mm-hmm. Fight Canelo or fight fight either Maul, fight Uscada Gee, fight Plant, fight. You know what I'm saying? Anybody, anybody but Benny, anybody but Benny yeah, Benny anybody Benny. Would better be there. Yeah, fight anybody but better be there. Yeah, that's the definition yeah. of protection yeah. right there. You, you got there ain't the, no protection, you got, man. You got you. There ain't no protection. You threw your whole cape on for this man. That's hilarious, man. Man, that ain't no protection, man. Nobody want to see that. What? So how many fans called in the show and said, "Man, I want to see Bob Benavidez"? How many shows you did on that, Bruh, You 
mad. Floyd asked for Who asked him for that? Floyd. Who asked him for that? Floyd. 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 Man, that's Floyd. one person. Name nah. name somebody else beside Floyd he, that asked for that fight. He he more all than, these cool in count, the community. He count for more than one because he Floyd. You know what I'm saying? Sports book. Yo 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 what yo. Up? What up? What up? Can you hear me, bro? Loud and clear, bro. Hey, okay. What's good with it, man? Listen. Um, once again, Floyd Mayweather, uh, the puppet master. First, he throws out this the sparring footage to throw everybody off from a fire press conference. Now here he go getting people riled up with Benavidez versus Terrence Bud Crawford. Interesting, but ain't nobody not have a problem. Him. Ain't nobody have a problem when Floyd came out of nowhere and wanted the welterweight champ to fight a kid that had 14 fights. Everybody jumped on that bandwagon, <laughs> so let's jump on this one. <laughs> man, I don't think that's going to happen, man. I don't I don't think it's going to happen. For one, y'all protect Benavidez. Him. Y'all protect Oh, him. no. A lot oh, of people hold calling up. in already making excuses. Whoa. Oh, he shouldn't Whoa. fight that guy. No. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, listen. No. Hold on. You can't, you can't use the preconceived notion that other people in the past uh, phone calls might have used. I didn't say that he can't. I said that. I just don't think it's going to happen because Bud already said that he don't want to fight him. You see what I'm saying? And then, what's his name? He said he moving up and he would only come down for the Canelo fight. I so, mean, I, I don't said, see how that's going. He said that before Floyd said what he said. He ain't know Floyd was trying to make him a super <laughs> fight. Ness, come on, man. You know you know that ain't enough. You know that ain't enough. Floyd green, can say it, but I don't think that's The green print ain't enough. The green print ain't enough. Being on pay-per-view well, two times back to back ain't enough. I'm, your name once being, again. Your name what? being linked to Canelo for the last five years ain't enough. <laughs> I get it. I get it. It's it's called protection. You got it. No, it's not called protection. That's, it's called simply that both sides literally have never said anything about this. And once again, what? Well, okay, here do you. But, why but do you think Floyd was, stated? Let me let me just add names to it because that's how it was when Floyd said that Keith should fight Earl. Nobody was ever asking for that, but Floyd said it. So we got. Oh the same come on, attitude. bro! They were they were more. But come on, Ness. We can admit we can all agree that way more people had the talk and conversations of Earl versus of Keith Floyd. Thurman as opposed to. Well, okay, then I tell you what, let's see how it goes then. Because you say, uh, uh, what you're saying is Floyd can make this thing become. I mean, uh, uh, I mean a didn't, he make Ryan, a didn't he make Ryan point. pull out? Didn't he make Ryan pull out and announce a fight with his fighter? Like, <laughs> well, that's a guy who's mentally unstable completely. Mm. So, I mean, of course you can play a puppet with a guy who, who doesn't even know what they want to do with their own self. Mm. Of course, you can manipulate them, but I will say this, Ness. Let's see how it go. Let's see if let's see if what Floyd is doing, if it can get enough of a talking point to where you know both of them may possibly entertain the fight. Nah, it but looks right like now, the, it looks like the Crawford protectors are bigger than that because oh know, shit, Floyd said what he said, <laughs> but the Crawford protectors out here protecting boy. They're like, nah, man, he shouldn't do that. Floyd a hypocrite. Floyd never did that. He never fought Gennady. It's like, bro, like be be greater than Floyd, be greater than Floyd. Okay, okay, okay. Well, we we shall see. We shall see how it go. Besides that, man, I holla at you once again. Shout out to Raymond Ford, man. Shout out to Raymond. Shout out to they whole team for being the hood legends, getting everybody their money the way it need to be done. He said it and it happened. But nah, that's interesting topic, bro. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna I'm gonna see on my on my on my page what people think of it. But that that's interesting, but I don't think it's gonna happen. But we shall see, my brother. Y'all get the lights up. Salute to you, Ness. I'll holler. Appreciate you. Tyron is on you. If you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It's gonna help with the visibility. Of the show. Tyron, you there? 
So those not those names that Terrence allegedly turned down are Jermel Charlo, Erickson Lubin, and Jerron Ennis. So Jermel would have had a belt at the time of the agreement, possibly. Uh, he's WBC champion in recess. I think they stripped him of the last belt, the WBA. <coughs> Excuse me. So maybe. That's why he ain't do that. Then he like Lubin, like, that's not for a belt. And then he like, Jerron, I ain't really staying at 47. That's how I'm looking at it. I don't know. But he did say no to all those names just in case. Yeah, I didn't know. Now you know. Tyron, just jump out all the way out and back in. Like, get out of the space completely, bro. Like, complete. Yeah. You'll be good. Let me see if he's going to jump right in uh, ASAP status. If you're listening on Twitter, X Spaces, go ahead and hit that uh, repost for me so we can get some more listeners in here. Let them know we talk boxing twice a day. We do a live space, a simulcasting live with YouTube and Discord. What's going on, Will? Oh, nothing much. I figured I'd have to put my two cents in after I heard that one dude talk all that shit about how Bud don't have no fans, even though I'm on record giving you a super chat that says that Terrence Bud Crawford beat everybody at welterweight 100% of the time by KO. Even though I, you know, I have all these facts and figures about Terrence Crawford, I guess you just don't have the fucking fans, but uh, I just wanted to say that I do like the Benavides fight, even though I think all the haters would say that he was drained when Bud stops him. And, I mean, bro, I don't know why we're in the business of protecting fighters in the first place, man. Is boxing a race or a marathon? Because last I checked, you keep going until you stop, until you quit. So you got to keep challenging yourself, putting yourself out there. Like, that's what boxing is about. That's what I thought, anyway. Why are we protecting fighters? We should be wanting to see him fight the best. You know what I mean? Like, it's just stupid to me that you got all these people who are either scared or, you know, you got Spence fans talking all that shit. And, you know, I don't blame them for talking shit, you know? They talk shit for five years straight, even though it was their boy in the fifth round getting looked at by the doctor. I don't blame him for talking all that shit. I'd be talking shit, too, if uh, Spence did that to Bud. Like, so, anyway. No, I like the fight. I think that they should make that fight first. I think it's great. A good matchup. You got a pressure fighter versus a hybrid fighter. Yeah, he would be moving up. It would be a little sketchy. But, like I said in the beginning, we're either here to challenge ourselves. We're either here to see the best fights. Or we're just here to see people win all the time. I don't know about you, but I don't like being right 100% of the time. Anyway, Ness, that's my call, man. Peace. All right, champ. Appreciate you. We got free smoke, free smoke. Free smoke, go ahead and hit that unmute. What up, TBV? What's going on, Ness? What up, what up? Y'all hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, man. The best talk show, best podcast on the motherfucking net. Hey, man, check this out, bro. If you ain't got that energy that you got for Canelo, for being a beat ass, man, Knock it off, bro. If you can fight Canelo and stop Canelo, why you can't stop the Mexican monster? Why not? Why you can't stop the Mexican monster? Everybody calling for the, oh, let's fight Canelo. It's a big payday. Man, that's going to be a big payday, too, if you fight Benavidez Crawford. You know what I mean? That's going to be a huge payday because everybody want to see you lose and everybody want to see the monster knock somebody out and they want to see you get knocked out. You still got uh, Spence, Spence fans still leaning on oh, somebody need to whip Crawford's ass. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, bro, you got to have that same energy, bro. You got to have that same energy. That's my call, Ness. 
Appreciate you, champ. Uh, let's see what we got. Who's next? If you're watching this on YouTube, smash that thumbs up. Jay in LA. What is up? JXV, if Bud's so skilled, like y'all say, he beats David Benavidez easy. H-Town, $5, Leo, what up? He says, I don't want to hear more Canelo duck talk. Simple. Eddie said they would fight anyone for $55 million. Simple. PBC, call that bluff on paper. Not no word. Christian G, welcome to the contender level. <laughs> Yeah, I need that quote. That's the one I've been looking for. I haven't been able to find that. I need that, like, on paper. If anybody got that, send that to me because the one where Eddie says they'll fight anyone for $55 million, I think that's the, the, the nail in the coffin. It's like, bruh, he, 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 he went as far as saying, um, like, $55 million. What? We'll fight anybody for that number. And... If that's the case, put that shit on paper. J and LA, it's not working, brother. We going out to Quan. Yo, yo, what up, Ness? What's good? So I'm just about to come on here real quick. I just need people to, to realize what was really going on with this whole uh Crawford fighting Canelo situation. Let me just go back a little bit. What's that? For the time on the timeline. So Originally, people been had suspected or they knew that Spence possibly could have been one of the fight Canelo, right? But obviously, Spence got knocked off by Crawford. But they was asking Crawford the same question before. Crawford was saying, "Hell no, I wouldn't. I'm not gonna go up to 168 because it just don't make sense. It ain't, you know, it ain't my weight, right?" But Crawford's energy didn't change until he seen Jamel sized up with Canelo. So when he seen how Jamel was sized up with him, he seen, okay, this Jamel coming from 154 to, to 168. All right. I see him next to each other. I could definitely do this. I, I could be Canelo. That's facts. He start calling out Canelo after he seen the comparison. So now, obviously, Canelo got his little situation and shit going on. It ain't going to make sense. But I feel like the only reason why I did the fight is just... It ain't going to happen. It's because of the size. I just think Benavidez is too big. And shit, the nigga uh, Terrence Crawford know that. So I don't think he would want to fight Benavidez. And I just don't, I don't think it makes sense. Literally just because of the size. And I know y'all saying keep that same energy. And I get it, but it ain't going to happen. I think Crawford need to fight somebody at 154 for a belt or go up to 160. Um, I wish... Uh, Carlos Adamas had a belt. I don't want to see that fight. I think that fight could do something for his name. You feel me? He can go over there and fight the Dominican dude. You telling me if he fought a Dominican guy, he ain't going to get no money from that? Like, just for a build-up. Nah. That's out of the way because you're just jumping from 47. So, you at least, if you're going to skip 54, go to 160, fight somebody up there, then go to 168. I don't know. I can only see him fighting Canelo at 168. Jaime makes sense at 168. Berlanga makes sense at 168. Just because of the size. Just because of the size. I just think David too big for him. Yeah, so just say you're scared. To, I ain't trying to protect Just say nigga. anybody but shit. David. <laughs> I ain't trying to protect the nigga. It might sound like it, but I just, I don't know. But shit, that's my call. Shout out TVV. Shout out to you. Um, bruh, this page is just too funny. I mean, this dude better start paying me for as much as I'm fucking promoting his page. But it's just because it's too funny. I got to show you this shit. Lord. Why he be killing it like this? <laughs> Ryan Garcia by 2025. This dude, bro. He going to get a million followers. There's no way. He's killing it with these memes. It's just too funny. But we're going to keep these phone lines moving. We got James with a counterpunch. Yo, 
Yo, what's up, Ness? You hear me? Loud and clear. Yeah, you definitely need to make that to your shirt, man. Anybody but David. Because, you know, everybody was giving Bud all this praise maybe a month ago when he had the IG tweet that hashtag 154-168. Clearly stating his next two moves that he's trying to do in boxing. So, Tim Zhu, Keith Thurman, and it should be David Benavides. Because that's the only way you're going to actually get that Canelo fight. So Floyd Mayweather is actually making business sense and what he's actually trying to instruct Crawford to do. But as you say many times in boxing, these niggas don't really want these tough fights. They like the 60-40s, the 70-30s, all that type of shit or whatever, you know? Like, he really wants to run out there and fight Tim Zhu or Keith Thurman because he believes that's like an 80-24. But David Benavidez, he knows he's going to actually have to do some real work, have to actually game plan and all this other shit. You know, the nigga that's was saying, screaming out, get active, he's not trying to really get active, you know. So let's just stop believing the bullshit a lot of these fighters say. When they say all, they want all the smoke, they want all the smoke, but a nigga that's bigger than me, which is David Benavidez. Lo and behold, you know, what's funny, I believe that, oh man, you know, if, if a fight like Janibek was on the table, Bud would probably even fight him. And that would probably be the toughest fight that he probably would go. You know, because Munguia, uh, Berlanga, those are 168-pounders. Those are big guys, but those are beatable opponents. So, I mean, that's, man, I mean, there ain't really no smoke on, there ain't no, really no smoke on Omaha no more, man. That's what I'm starting to see. And y'all niggas campaigning for Bud, but let's be honest, though, man. The car accident, that took so much out of Earl and shit like that, man. That was like a 90-10 fight, if you really think about it. Ness, man, shout out to you. Shout out to the community as always. I'm out. Peace. All right. Octo says, get Coach Kenny and Calvin on the show, man. They, they, they got their own show they be going on, bro. They, you know how that goes. I wish. I wish. Leon. Leon, you got to hit that unmute. Yo, Nesh, you got me? Loud and clear. Man, this PJ, TJ, man, I, he ain't got the phone lines open no more, so I had to dig back in my Twitter account just to get up on here. But freaking, uh, man, I think at this point, like, so I'll start off by saying, is David the fight that, you know, we wanted to see? No, nah, nobody was talking about it. Nobody was looking for it, right? I was. But if that's... I'm on file, baby, three months what? ago. Yes. I was asking Crawford to fight David Benavidez three months ago. I got a whole episode on it, and I made three shorts about it. I said fight him three months ago. I'm going to screen share my shit. Bro, I'm telling you, like... I've been said this. Nah, facts. Oh. You can't you can't only want right, to fight so that's Canelo. Cool. That's crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? If if, if Devin nah, if Devin cool. goes to 140 and only fights Ryan, they're gonna say he cherry picked. Like it's bananas. The motherfuckers don't like keeping the same energy. Nah, so I was about to say, I'll still I'll still take David, right? Because the only reason why I was personally going for Canelo for, from a fan's perspective is, you know, go out, dare to be great. You know what I'm saying? But it was undisputed at the time. He obviously got stripped off already, but that would have been crazy just for legacy, right? But now, you know, we're talking about David. I'm, I'm still down for the fight. I still think Bud can get the dub. But from Bud's perspective, I believe, you know, Canelo was just the biggest bag in the I believe Bud said that he only wanted like one, maybe two more fights. And he's already said that he would only go up to 168 if he, you know, was going for Canelo. Like, I don't, I don't think Bud, like, Bud probably got more fights in him left, but I don't think he's wanting to, you know, do too many fights. Like, he, he's already said, like, yo, I got, I'll probably do one, maybe two. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, ima it. imagine Canelo saying that. 
Imagine Canelo saying nah, he I mean, don't want to fight. Canelo would be in his right. Imagine Canelo saying he don't want to fight David. I mean, shoot. I, I, I think that's a slightly different conversation. I feel where you're coming from, but that's a slightly different conversation because, you know, they, they've been chilling at that weight together for a minute. Oh, really? Or, or one dude undisputed it? I mean, that's facts. I mean, that is on David, you know, for getting in what he got into and, you know, lost that belt, you know. But, again, I think that's slightly different if you're talking about Bud. I'm not opposed to the fight. I just don't think that Bud, gonna, he, he ain't going to go that route. I don't think that it's because he's scared. I think it's just because, uh, you know, he was looking for that bag before he get up out of there. But. Oh, why? Right. So, so, so we got to keep that same energy. Just saying, not you. I'm just saying. I'm speaking like in general to the audience and the callers. Like, if it's okay for Bud to only fight Canelo because he's looking for that bag, well, then it's okay for Canelo to only fight Berlanga and the high Mees because he's looking for that bag. So y'all got to keep the same energy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all sounding real weird right now. Y'all making it okay for one dude to get bags and not the other? That's what y'all going to say next, that 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 Canelo been getting the bag, so it was only right that Crawford get the bag? Like, y'all sounding weird right now. Tyler, what up? Hello? You're... Hey, Miss, man, you can tell you're my Gemini brother, man, because you just want these niggas to fight everybody, like the old school niggas. You know, the old school niggas, man, they would rise up. They would fight anybody. Go up. I'm telling you, like, they would fight anybody. But these niggas ain't on that bud out there playing basketball with Gilly and shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, the bud thing got is, I ain't, even, I ain't even hit the bell. I want to say this so people can see that, that, that my energy is always the same. When I believe in you, I believe in you, right? Like, before Bivol beat Canelo, I was thinking that Canelo could beat Usyk, and everybody laughed at me. And look, rightfully so, because Bivol beat Canelo, which means he could never get to Usyk. But that's how crazy I thought about my fighter. It's just sad that these Bud fans don't think like that. I, y'all laughed at me. <laughs> I wanted Usyk. I wanted Makabu. I wanted Badu. I felt that Canelo could go up. I, I don't see why these dudes scared, but go ahead. But, yeah. Essentially, word. Bud got this aura about him where it's like, we should be so grateful that he's still fighting, that we should go watch his old fights, that any new fight he give us is the icing on the cake on an already great career. <laughs> And I don't know if that's like negotiation tactics or whatever the case may be. He might truly feel that way. But that's like, I'm with, I'm definitely don't think he's fighting anybody more than David Benavides. <laughs> you got to tell me this nigga acting like that, they go jump to David, man. But this nigga would have took anybody on in 168, including Canelo before David. A lot of these niggas shown that. So, like, what are we really talking about? Like, I mean, I personally, if I personally, maybe Bud could beat anybody in that weight class, depending on how he look, when he cloud, like, when he put on weight, because Bud is naturally strong. But, like, if Bud ain't going to hop to the front of that line unless he a real nigga, let's be real. A real, only a real nigga hopping to the front of that David Benavidez line. You know what I'm saying? They Like, everybody's showing that. <laughs> only a real one going to hop to the front of the line, man. It's going to take one. So we can want that. And I want that personally as a boxing fan. I would love to see it too, boy. Listen, you put Bud in there with Benavidez and Bud looking like a little swole late hamster going for the body, you know what I'm saying, countering them little long-ass lazy things. Demetrius Andre was sending hooks to the heaven on the nigga, bro. Hooks to the heaven. Bud don't even need that much to get off. He don't have to send hooks from the heaven. Bud is sending hooks from up close. <laughs> you mean you putting on the weight? I think it'll be a better fight than we give it credit for. But no, but Bud is not. Bud, Bud seems like 
he he wanna play basketball right now. He ain't even hop to the front of the line. <laughs> but that's all I gotta say. But yeah. Work. Him and Canelo the same size. They both 5'8", though. And that's why I think Bud want Canelo ass so bad, because I don't know why. He just, I think Bud just look at Canelo as a smaller man for some reason. Like, if you, I feel like Bud feel like if he put on weight, he going to feel like the bigger man in the ring, kind of like he surprised Spence. I think he want to surprise Canelo ass with that shit. But I don't know if you surprise David as David 6'3 ass with that shit. You ain't surprising David with your size. You might surprise Canelo, but nah. <laughs> Word. That's all I gotta say. All right, champ. Jay in LA trying you yet again. We got Tevis with another ten dollars. Third time's a charm. Can you hear me? Yeah, we hear you, That's Jay. Cool. All right, cool, cool. Finally, we got connected. Hey, um, so Ness, I think you're doing a great job of stirring the pot today with this whole, uh, you know, the Floyd Mayweather saying that Crawford should probably fight Benavides. And all, everybody who's kind of agreeing with the situation, I hope you keep the same energy back in the day. Just like you said, you wanted him to take up Triple G, Floyd Triple G. He also should have been taking on Andre Ward, really. But he never did that. He never wanted to reach for greatness. I so, think Ward. You know, I think Ward. Nice walk, so. I think that was a little bit too much. But I did want him to fight Triple G, Paul Williams, Margarito. Yeah, but but see, Andre Ward was one sixty eight. So you're not asking more of Floyd than you're asking of Crawford right now. And Crawford is that he's thirty six or thirty seven right now. Well, yeah, almost but, the same but age. Crawford, I think that Crawford oh. Crawford statistically is just bigger than Floyd. For one, his frame is bigger. For two, he's literally bigger. He's like five ten. He's he's got seventy five, seventy four and a half inch reach. You know, he's just a bigger man, so he could fill out, and he's shown us that. I so mean, he, I'm gonna have to show the picture with him with the fucking two hundred pound uh, chain on. And, and you know, I can respect that. Yeah, that as the you know, he has the bigger man capability to get up there. But still, you know, there are gradual steps to this. This is where that's this whole thing with Canelo Charlo fight just screwed everything up, man. Because realistically, we should have seen Crawford and and little Charlo at the 154, and we would have seen seen an epic fight there. Probably Crawford would have won that. And then maybe you know, maybe at that point, we're looking at maybe he steps up to 160 at that point or 164. But to jump right now. He just beat Spence, being held in limbo, unfortunately, with this whole thing, and now reaching for the bag at Canelo. I mean, and, he's, and nine, me, he's nine months out the ring, bro. He's nine months out of the ring. He ain't been 147 since weigh-in day. I, I know, I know. But the thing is, on, on the reason why he would not go to Benavides versus going for Canelo, I could see him say, you know what, I can risk losing to Canelo because I'm going to make a whole bunch of money. But if I risk losing to Benavides, it's not nearly half the money that I'd make with Canelo, right? The glory beating David, it wouldn't be as much that's as not, the glory beating Canelo. That's not necessarily right? true. That's so the not, risk for him... That's not necessarily sense. true, though, Jay. In terms of financially, Canelo gives you a 5.5 minimum guarantee. And you're supposed to be okay with that because you believe that I'm fighting Canelo and we're going to do big pay-per-view, so I'll get more money on the back end. So, really, exactly. really, Crawford could be given the same five million and just get your money on the back end. Promote it like Ryan and Devin are doing. Promote it like Tank and Devin uh, and, and, and Ryan did. You know, they they promoted and they got to six fifty with with, with Terrence and 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 Bud. You know, promote it a little more and do better, and it will do better. Listen, fear sells. You hear the people scared to oh, death? Yeah. They scared to death for Crawford to get in there. That's going to sell it in itself. The fact that people are going to be like, bro, you know he's fighting that big-ass dude? Yeah, the one that Canelo was supposed to fight. Yeah, the one that Mike Tyson calls Mexican monster. Like, they're going to pay to see him die. So it's going to be a lot of yeah, pay-per-views. The, 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 the beat the unbeatable situation, right? Is this guy really going to... Trying to beat this giant type of situation. I mean, look, I'm screen <laughs> sharing crazy. a picture with him but and yeah, Ward. Just, you know, just, 
just uh-huh. just just so people could see, like him and Ward the same size, and Ward's retired, so Ward's been not a sixty eight pounder, man. Like, look at him right there. He yeah. and again, this picture is with Floyd, making Floyd look very small. Look at look at Terrence's bicep. F- fucking Shakur fits inside of Terrence's body here. This is what I'm saying. Like Terrence just has the body that can grow into whatever division he wants to fight at. But Jay. In L.A., that is the bell. Let me get to Stone Bone Boxing. Nestor, Nestor, what up? Stone Bone, yes. what up? What up? Man, we, me and Ness always be having these conversations, man. Remember, we, we talk about Gennady, Ness, and they said, oh, y'all crazy talking about Gennady, you a, you're a nut, bud nut hugger talking about he can be Gennady. I, I, what we talked about, you are right. We talked about this David fight. What I said, I said, if a nigga beat up my uh, big brother, he, I would want to fight him too. David, you should have saw David face in Omaha when they was holding his brother when he was almost out of it on his feet. You should have saw David face. He looked like he wanted to jump in the ring and fight Bud while he was talking. You know what I mean? Like, when he, when he when you see David, he still uh, had that look on his face where he like, motherfucker, I want to put hands on you. That you he got that look. So, and listen, that's there's it's no um, is Al never offered David, never been in the talk, and it's some reason that all of a sudden when Bud coming up, who's moving up now? Who running up out the division now? Dave is running to 175 because Terrence Croft is here to whoop Canelo ass. He knows <gasps> Bud getting the fight. He's running out the division. Why that boy? I told you he's flat-footed. He's a good fighter, but we'll beat his ass like we did his big brother. He's still upset about that. So tell Al, make an offer. Tell Samson. Tell Louie. Tell all them guys. Reach out. Make it happen. We ready for the fight at 68. If it ain't Canelo September, if it ain't Tim Zhu, in the summer, whoever the fuck it is, we ready. And David, if you didn't run to 175, you knew as soon as we was coming to 68, now you want to fight at 75. Now you announce that fights. That's what it was, Ness. We ready for whoever. You telling the truth, we built for this. We'll fight anybody on any level. And I can't wait for what's going to happen for my guy. Hopefully we get some, some good things happening. PBC will stop stalling and get this shit going. But David ran out the division. Soon as we was on the way, that's what happened. I cannot hear my iPad, Daddy. All right, champ. Well, at least he not afraid. See, this is what I'm saying, man. Some people got to believe in the skill. Look, what he say? He flat-footed. That's what Keith said about Zoo. We'll see how much that plays a factor. But you also got to factor in that, you know, Keith has uh, been out of the ring. So it's not the same as Crawford, who has been fighting more consistently, obviously. Um, but we got Tip Bellis counter. Yo. Yo. Man, we got to fight, man. We got to fight March 30th, bro. I'm putting it on notice, man. Fuck Tim Zoo. Straight up, man. Fuck Zoo. Hey, you better tell Keith to bring that shit, bring that motherfucker one time out, you know what I'm saying, come March 30th. Because the way he was talking on IG Live just a moment ago, bro, out of pocket, man. He done pulled up on Keith, flexing his confidence. Nah, bro. It's too disrespectful, bro. Disrespecting the shit out of Keith. And Sean pulled a face like, nah, 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 nah. Y'all think we ain't got to fight March 30th? Oh, nah, you ain't going to want to miss this. Zoo talking about he going to knock Keith out in two rounds, bro. Keith talking about, look, man, you got six minutes. We going to fight for six minutes. After six minutes, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going to happen. I guess Keith just going to take over and just get that boy a boxing lesson like he did Mario Barrios. But, hey, this, this shit looking good, man. Uh, Tim Zhu finally opening up, getting out of his shell, man. I like what I'm seeing as far as that. But, hey, Ness, you better tell that man come March 30th, he better beat the shit out of that Australian and send his ass back on that boat, bro. Uh, yeah, man, um, let's see if that's really the case, you know? He's got a uphill battle, Thurman does. Man, all the tools better be sharp. He better hit that man with some shit. Like, 
Yeah, like, yeah. But uh, shout out to the men in black, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Bud Crawford fans, you know what I'm saying? I know y'all got the whole defense team shit going on right now, but listen, your boy got to fight somebody, man. He can't keep sidestepping everybody. Can't keep sidestepping everybody. Y'all done pulled up in armor trucks on TBV, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got your CCV license out, you know what I'm saying, just in case. You know, David Benavidez has come across this shit. Y'all wild out here, man. Y'all real wild. But, uh, yeah, shout out to the Bud Protection Program, man. Uh, uh, Bud Protection, LLC. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them. But all right, that's... All right. Nike, what up? Nike, what up? All right, Nike, looks like you're not connecting. We're going out to Borough City E on a check-in. We got Tevis with another 10 hours. He said, I earned my bomb. Coach Calvin and Kenny ain't Bill Haney. They stay over there where it's safe. Yeah, they don't they don't rock with me no more. The questions got too crazy for them, man. But uh shout out to you, bro. That's your third ten dollar super chat. Appreciate you. Modern King boxing two dollars. Stop capping this. What am I capping about? What am I capping about? Borough City E. What up? Yo. Yeah, man. I'm going to be a hundred. Oh. I, don't, I ain't really big on him fighting David, on Bud fighting David. You know what I mean? Only because of the size discrepancy. Like, you know, it's a re they got a real, real big size discrepancy. But, you know what I mean? It's like Canelo, Canelo is Bud's size at the end of the day. He just way heavier. So you betting on Bud's speed and skill versus Canelo uh, raw power. But, but Benavidez, he's just a beast. So big and smothering and everything. Is he like a 175 coming down to 168? And, and, you know, obviously Canelo went up to 168 and, and this at, at his, basically his his natural fighting size. You know what I mean? But I mean, I still will watch it though. But if he was gonna do something like that, then Bud got to be smart. You can't just go directly head up into David. You have, you, I mean, you have to get an acclimation fight. You have to. You got to go fight Caleb. I mean, just take a. If you gonna do it, take a fight like Caleb Plant. You gonna make bank fighting Caleb Plant. I mean, big bank fighting Caleb Plant. Yeah, I want and that then, Caleb Plant you know fight because I mean? y'all think he can not punch, huh? Nah, Caleb can punch her. You can't sleep so, on so, Caleb, so man. What Caleb got some. You what, should. What is, what is you, it, you, gas tank? Because if you gonna fight Caleb, who fought Benavidez and Canelo, might as well fight Benavidez. That is, the reason I say Caleb, the reason I, honestly, the reason I say Caleb, because he not, he he not as damaging as uh Benavidez, bro. This nigga Benavidez, bro, bro. You know what type of dog this man is, bro. Once he get on you, that motherfucker is on you. And first of all, Bud need to see if his power even translate to one sixty eight. You know what I mean? So I can even find out. You can find out with Caleb playing a guy that done fought both the motherfuckers, and you can't go wrong. You, so not only do you put a common opponent in between them, if you win, now you really make that fight, uh, make a high demand for that fight because people will say, well, look what he did here and look what he did there and, 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 and compare the two fights between each other. And then you could get the sense of whether he's been standing a chance in the ring with Benavidez, period. Like Canelo is one thing, but yeah, you because know, because of the size, y'all both around the same size, but. Benavidez, I have so much of a, a, a weighted or so much of a size advantage 
he would have to he would have to put a cross on him. You couldn't let Benavidez walk in that motherfucking ring at one ninety, damn near two hundred pounds, fight night. Oh, that shit would be crazy. Now, you know what now, I mean? And wanna, then now we want to take a page out of Canelo book. I thought I thought I thought that was for, you know whack. I thought catchweight was whack. What's going on, bro? Now no, no, no. I did not for a catchweight. I said a rehydration. Oh, Come to my for uh oh, you want some oh you want some rehydration tank, off, for, tank, uh, tank Garcia shit. Called? No, t- what Tank did was some clown shit. Tank uh, brought I mean, the man down to 136. I mean, you actually, 136 you and then not let him get 10 pounds heavier. Come on, man. That's not and I'll pay five for the extra call, so you can go ahead and come back to me on this. I'll pay five for the extra call. Wow. Do you? You, you, you think so? So you think that's the same? You don't think that got, like, but what Tank did was some clown shit. Him and, him and Ron was literally just in the same division. Bud literally giving up three divisions. He giving up three, four divisions. And he giving you about 40 pounds. I mean, and he giving I mean, you the height I mean, and size I mean, Canelo, advantage. Canelo, I mean, make it fair right. somewhere around Canelo, the line on Canelo, this. Come on. Canelo ain't had no catchway rehydration on Bivol, man. You know what I'm just saying? You know what I'm saying, right? You know what I'm saying. But that's only one division up, though. That's one only one division up, I'm, though. I'm sorry. You talking about the guy coming from 47 all the way to 68? I'm sorry. That's 20 pounds. I, I thought you knew. I thought you knew Canelo uh, started at uh, 40. I thought you knew that. No, no, no. But see, I'm not talking about with Canelo. I'm talking about with Benavidez. I'm talking about him fighting Benavidez. You, yeah, no. you don't believe he? Coffee you don't started. think he need one with Benavidez? Nah, 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 nah. What for? Right, so, so what? So what? Let me guess. You don't even want him to have an acclamation fight at all. Just say fuck it, go straight. There. I mean, you so it's, wait. It's, it's been nine months. Are you man. telling me you believe in Bud that much? It's, it's been nine months. He, if he wanted to fight, he'd have one. It's been. I got five months. for the extra call too. If I owe ten, just let me know. If I owe ten, just let me know. But what you call it? So. So you you really you really don't think Bud doesn't even need an acclamation fight just to see if his power can translate I mean, to one sixty. I mean, I mean, right now Benavidez is talking about moving up. I catch him right now where where people think he can't make the weight. Well, uh, well, I mean, I think I think he can make the weight. I think he just don't want to wait on. Uh, I think he just don't want to wait on Canelo. Probably want to. Put himself in position for undisputed at one seventy five. He might. Hmm. Then he just got a call. Alrighty then, Burrow City E. You muted yourself, champ. Burrow City E. All right, we're going out to Jerron, Louisiana. Yo, can you hear me now? Loud and clear. Yeah, I've been, I've been listening, and I'm not going to sit here like some of the other crowd are trying to say it's a bad fight, because it could be a good fight, and it could benefit both of them. I mean, it's definitely a hard opponent. It, it would definitely benefit Canelo, because then somebody would have to rebuild, and it would give him an excuse not to fight either one. But to me, it seems that the person that benefits the most is the person who suggested it, Floyd Mayweather. Because right now you got two guys who are on pace to tie or surpass his record. Crawford, if he fights five more years, fighting two times a year, will tie Floyd's 15 on record if he stays undefeated. Yeah, but Crawford already said he only got two fights left. He if looking, I was him, he looking I, for that I, I money. Wouldn't he out here if I was for Crawford, I wouldn't money. say that. I would stay in the five years. Me too. That's what and, I said. But people don't care about Floyd's record somehow. I, I said, man, you too close. Take that shit down. Yeah, take, take that it down. shit down. Clearly, Floyd think, Floyd's thinking about it. This is why he wants that fight. And then he could have told dinner. Al that, like, look, this is my plan. I want to I wanna beat Floyd's record. Give me all the welterweight, welterweight fights you got. You know right. what I mean? Benavidez is well on his way, too. He's 28. You know, both of them have high knockout ratios. So at the end of the day, if both of them fight Canelo as undefeated fighters and they both knock Canelo out, well, they both are one step closer to breaking Floyd's record. And if Terrence Crawford does end up knocking out Canelo and then getting past Floyd's 50-0, and 0, 
then he surpassed Floyd in two different ways. He beat Canelo by knocking him out, which Floyd didn't do. And then he could surpass Floyd's undefeated re- record. And I think this is why Floyd suggested this fight. Floyd is is not ready to let go of the spotlight yet, which is why he I mean, he, 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 he literally said, you want Canelo, he wants Canelo, y'all should fight each other. Like, it, it ain't about his record. It's about, you know, two dudes chasing Canelo. Well, yeah, they are both chasing Canelo, but they're chasing him too. And, and even though Crawford said he only got two left, I do believe that they're chasing him and Floyd feel that he just like he felt the heat when, when Wilder was undefeated and was 30 something and old with 30 something knockouts. So Floyd was feeling the heat then. Notice Floyd didn't offer the help Wilder until after Wilder lost because then. Wilder was no longer a threat to the legacy, which is, I don't know why Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather would feel like anybody's a threat to his legacy. Somebody at some point is probably going to surpass that record. He, he should be proud of what he was accomplished. He's been, he's the exception, not the rule. Not everybody's going to go undefeated. You know, he could, people say he's the best defensive fighter ever. Why he can't just hang his head on that and accept the career he's had. He's had a comeback, and if you're going to talk about a comeback and fight, there are fights. You to come back and fight Crawford yourself. Champ, that is the bell. Yeah, I wouldn't want Floyd to fight Crawford at this age. It's too late, man. You know, um, Floyd got to be like 44, right? So that's like, fuck. Actually, I should, I should be just keeping the same energy. I mean, that'll be like, what, seven years? You know, that's pretty much less than, you know, Canelo fighting Davis. So I guess... Nah, nah, it ain't fair. Floyd's, Floyd's so far removed, bro. He's like, feel me? Chopper, what up? Yo, yo. What's good? Chillin', chillin'. Yeah, man, I'm gonna be honest, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't think I want to see that fight, bro. If they was to, you know, go into negotiation just because of the size difference, man. And like, the interview you had earlier today, that guy that sparred with him. And Davis a monster, bro. He, he just different. I mean, I mean, so I, Canelo I, not a monster. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But just just going off of what Crawford said, his plans were, you know, he's trying to get those money fights. And I don't think so. Davis so so you be. okay knowing that Crawford can't beat Canelo because he's too big for him, but he's going to fight him just for the money? Nah, 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 nah. That's that's not what I'm saying. Canelo is big too, but you know, I think because Canelo he has a lot of wear and tear. You know, that's it's a more it's it's a more fair fight. It's a it's a bigger fight, a bigger money fight. I think it'll it'll draw in a lot more. Cash Canelo got people. more one punch knockouts than David, my dude. Yeah, he been doing it longer too, though. He been doing it longer. He got the experience over. But... I mean, but David, he stopped he the sixty-eight videos, pounder. He, he stopped the sixty-eight pounder. Has has Benavidez? Yeah. Who? David ain't stopped the sixty-eight pounder. Which one? Ronald, uh, what is his name? Ronald Gourville? Did they had two fights? He stopped him in the second fight. I'm gonna have yeah. to make me pull that up. I ain't know he. I don't remember him stopping him in the second fight. What about Anthony yeah, Durrell? He stopped, he stopped him. him? I'm going to have to check his old resume now. Yeah, they stopped it because of the cut. Hmm. So, 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 yeah, no, no, so no knockouts, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Boo-Boo was a 54-pounder a, 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 a moving up. That was a TKO. Plant went the decision. Lemieux, 54-pounder moving up, TKO. Kyron, 54-pounder moving up, TKO. Ronald Ellis, 54-pounder yeah, moving up, TKO. Yeah, I, I, Huh? I get what you're saying, there, bro. I, I I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. It's I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He been fighting mad fight. 54 pounders, so I feel like Crawford is right there on par. And guess what? Uh, everybody would say Crawford's better than Demetrius Andre. They would say he's better than Lemieux, better than Kyron Davis. Who who? Let, let's be real. That was a TKO. He ain't get stopped. His 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 his, his corner through the towel. Uh, Romero and Gulo went 10. They, I mean, Crawford's way better than him, right? Like. Shit, Jay Leon Love, where he went? Two? Crawford got to do better than that. And you was wrong. Graville did not get stopped. He went 24 rounds with Benavidez. 
And oh, shit, okay. Okay. ain't he ain't Crawford better than him? Yeah, without a doubt. But you still, bro. They make they make weight classes for a reason. I'm not saying that I wouldn't watch the fight, but I just. But don't Crawford want to fight like in that division? Yeah, Canelo. Okay, so we're picking that's a choosing. The person, that's, that's the so, so, so why we why are we afraid to use the right term? Like, why, why, like, so, so we, we, blank, we blank picking. What's it called? Nah. So, do you think Crawford can beat uh, Benavidez? I mean, if he think he could beat Canelo, he got to be able to beat nah, Benavidez. Nah, 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 nah. Do you think he'll beat him? I'm, what I'm telling you, if he think he could beat Canelo, the undisputed <laughs> champ, the multi-division unified uh, champ, you know, the dude with all the ring on, magazine, bro, if he think he could beat that, that I'm motherfucking not, not G, saying, he I'm certainly not, could beat saying, David. I'm not saying he don't have a chance at all, but the, the chance of him winning, bro, is is. Everybody knows, bro. It's it's really slim. It's tight. Like he got to be perfect. So perfect. basically, Canelo's not the man in the division. It's really Davis. So if if Charlo, if if, if Crawford beats Canelo, <clears throat> it don't mean nothing because Davis really the man. I mean, Canelo don't want to fight David, so I'm, he got to be the man. All right, so Crawford can fight the, David. Who's David really who's the really the man? Who's really the man at sixty eight in yards? Is it Canelo? We don't, or? We, we really don't know because they, they haven't fought each other, so oh, okay. we, we really can't tell. But as far as accolades, Canelo is that guy. So he, they, he done beat so, numerous champions, and you know what I'm saying? Canelo is the guy in, in the division, but we got to see him and David fight. But, you know, he don't want that fight with David. Which means, so whatever which means Crawford could get right in the mix if he beats David because there's no clear champion. Yeah, I mean, I, I see the play. I see the play. I mean, hey, look, I Floyd, I, I, Floyd Mayweather I, I, know what he's doing, man. He giving Crawford yeah. the, 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 the alley-oop. If he want to slam dunk, he just got to grab it and go towards that rim in the air. He can't go get down. That's going to be traveling. You got to catch that and just glide. Yeah. Two-hand that yeah. shit. If he want greatness, come, come two-hand this alley-oop. Floyd, the great money Mayweather done threw at you. George, what up? Or Jorge. What's up, bro? What up? Um, if, if Terrence were to fight Benavides, do we put a rehydration clause on in, in, in that fight? I mean, Canelo didn't have one for Bivol. Right. Man, I think skills-wise, I think Crawford has a chance. If, if Crawford is saying just two more fights, I wouldn't mind seeing that fight. And then that way he forces a fight with Canelo, you know. Um, but but is he on record saying that he he's only gonna fight two more times and that's it? Uh, I don't know about on record, but I feel like yes, there has been interviews that we've cited in the past. I just can't remember at this point, but I feel like he only wants two fights. I think he wanted Charlo at one point and Canelo, but everything is changing by the day, right? Because they stripping Charlo, <laughs> Canelo ain't fighting him. You know, we'll see. Fuck it, let's let's do it. One sixty eight. Let Terrence fight Benavides, and I do think he beats him. Um, you unanimously. Terrence right? beats it, it, Benavides. Not, yes, sir. There you go. Skills pay the bills, right? Yeah, that's it. And, and 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 I don't fault him for for well, it's not him, right? Floyd is telling him to 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 make that fight, but that's gonna make him, like you said, just as much money against Canelo or more. Yeah. Um. And and. Terrence it's probably going to make him more. Too. Think about it. It's probably going to make him more because Canelo got to get paid. Let's just go with the $35 million. You know what I'm saying? That's his minimum. So now you're talking $40 million is your pot to pay Crawford his $5 million. Canelo's $35 million. Right there, you got to sell at least 400,000 pay-per-views, you know, to cover that. Um, or at least 350. I'll do the math. But the point is, you got to sell more to cover those purses. If David and Crawford fight, you give them each a five million dollar guarantee. The fight's only worth 10 million, and you give them pay per view backside, back end. You know what I'm saying? But but think about it. You only got to fucking do 75 thousand, maybe. 100,000 pay-per-views to cover your $10 million purses guarantee. But truth be told, 
you know, they're gonna do way more than 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 a hundred thousand. Yeah. You will. know, again, the same four hundred thousand pay per views that 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 Crawford and Benavidez sell is more money for the two of them because neither one of them got a thirty five uh, million dollar guarantee. You know. Yep, and um, I don't think uh, you know people say that. Terrence is, is ducking boots. I don't think he's ducking them. It just doesn't make him as much money. And he's already undisputed at 147. Look. You know. 400,000 pay-per-views at 80 is $32 million. That don't even cover Canelo's purse. But if it's David and and and, and Crawford do, do 400,000 pay-per-views, it covers their $10 million, plus they made $22 million on the back end and the gate. So, again, these dudes just got to, you know, stop worrying about Canelo, make their own lane. The same 400000 yeah, I mean, makes more money with Benavidez than it does with Canelo. Yeah, and I mean, if Terrence is talking about 168, fight, fight Benavidez. You, you can't just, like you said, cherry pick. Yeah, you want to pick uh, and choose, but, and, and so do his fans, you know. That, and that's how it goes with everyone. So you you just can't cherry pick, man. Let's let's. Just but that's what they claim. The in, that's happen. what they claim. And Canelo's doing. Oh, he would have never fought in that division if David wouldn't have lost his belt. Okay, well, are you <laughs> saying that Can that Crawford won't fight in the division if if Canelo wasn't here? Because that's what it sounds like. Yeah, and what do you think? What do you think about uh, Canelo revisiting PBC? Hey, man, I you hope it happens, bro. Listen. We want to, I'm optimistic. I'm always been a dreamer. I want to believe a Canelo fight on Amazon Prime could help boxing, you know, grow. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm open to seeing that happen. So if, if Canelo and Al can, you know, fix their shit and get it together, I'm all for it. Two-tone, I'm ready to see some big shit on Prime. <laughs> Yo, what's new, man? It's your boy Two Tone Superstar. Please say the superstar. I see y'all. I see y'all is capping on a Monday, man. It's Cap Nation on a Monday. <gasps> uh, capping. First, first of all, first of all, Floyd Money Mayweather. Don't think he' trying to make Crawford be great. Floyd is a hater. Ever since Bill Trill, Bill Haney said that Terrence Crawford can beat everybody on Floyd's resume. Now Floyd is saying, okay, let me go ahead and ruin Terrence Crawford's uh, legacy by have him go up and get his ass whooped by David the Mexican monster Benavidez. We know, we know why Terrence Crawford want to fight Canelo, because we see the slippage. We see, we see the slippage. We know why. There's no payday. way on God's green. You want payday. I know that. Payday slippage. We know this. We know Canelo on the um, he and his Andre Berto era of his career. That's why Canelo ducky David Benavidez. Crawford ain't trying to go up there. The only way he going up there because he know he could beat this version of Canelo. This version of Canelo he could beat. He don't want to smoke with nobody else up there at 168. Floyd Money Mayweather, you hating, bro. Nobody was putting pressure. Pressure on you besides Ness to go up there and fight Triple G. You would have called them niggas haters if you would have been like, well, I got to go up there and fight Triple G. No, nah, you hating, bro. You didn't even fight Keith Thurman, bro. You didn't fight Keith Thurman when, when, when a young Keith Thurman had his hairline. You didn't fight him. You fought Andre Berto. Floyd Mayweather is a hater to anybody that threatens his legacy. He lied to y'all. He make you think he all about the money. No, Floyd cares about his legacy. And anybody that threatens it, a.k.a. Devin the Dream Haney, that's why he tried to stop the fight on December 9th with that mid-exhibition uh, fight. That's why he went ahead and leaked the sparring tape to hate on Devin Haney because he know Devin Haney's the next one, not Shakur Trackstar Stevenson. I say that respectfully. Uh, Crawford, go down there and fight Boots, bro. Go fight Boots, bro, at 154. Stop it, bro. Boots is no! right there, bro. no! I'm out, man. Free, no, no pay per view. Make that shit for free, bro. Do it for the sport, bro. I'm out, bro. Sin, what up? 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe. I'm trying to get to 192,000. If you haven't checked out my David Benavides part two, it is members only, but it's free yeah, to the me? public March 7th. We hear you. What up? Yeah, man. So I ain't going to lie. The last caller making a lot of good points about Floyd and all that. I don't know. Maybe it's just bigger than what we're making it seem. Maybe they're just trying to gas it, you know, just get keep talking. But, yo, I can't lie to you. I've been violating Cinnamon Challenge Alvarez, yo. We got to be real. No matter what do we want, I don't think Canelo, like, really scared of Benavidez. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like he moving funny like he did his whole career. But if we being honest, David is tailor-made for him, man. Like, I know a lot of people be talking about, oh, Canelo don't got that movement and stuff no more like how he did before. But he's strong. And we can't lie. There's not sugar, this spice. This Canelo. Like, you know, he really punching hard. He coming with that high guard. He throwing big shots. David going to be right there. David going to be throwing a lot of combinations. And Canelo going to punch in between. And Canelo could hurt him. You know, and Canelo going to go to that body crazy. This could be another Callum Smith situation. So we, we got to stop playing with Canelo's name. I ain't going to lie to you. If he beat David, pack up Mungia, Edgo, all these guys, we got to start talking about Canelo being the best fighter in Latin American history. Can't even lie right now. And Chavez, Marquez, Morales, Barrera, all them guys, they can't even lace his boots if he does that fight. And then he goes to 175, he wins some fights or whatever. We're talking about a four-weight world champion. How many champions? Like, over 20-something? Come on. Like, it's going to be... We can't even, like, disrespect right now. He fought Golovkin. Golovkin knocked out half the universe. He didn't even get hurt by him. Like, we got to stop disrespecting this man. Like, we can act like, yeah, he moving funny and all this stuff. That we can't lie. But talking about in the ring, like, taking a punch or whatever, we ain't never seen him get duff. So we got to start really giving him his respect. And he really punching like that. We saw how Charlo and all them was moving. That's why they didn't want to get touched. So, you know, David, at the end of the day, whether, you know, the contract, all that stuff y'all saying, no matter what people want to talk about, he tailor made for Canelo. And really, that might be a show. A couple of rounds, you know, whatever, get him bigger, star make it a show and put him out. That's my call, man. Will Counter. What's up, Ness? Can you hear me? Loud and clear, champ. Yeah. I'm about to... Hey, man, I've been hearing all these naysayers, and all I got to say is, is that, you know, fucking uh, Roberta Duran stands at about five foot seven, but he faced Iran Barkley, who was six foot one. You have Mickey Walker, who went from wel welterweight all the way to heavyweight, where he challenged the heavyweight champion of the world to a draw, and he was five foot seven. Canelo Alvarez, he's five foot eight, and didn't he beat Callum Smith? Y'all acting like it can't be done. Like, quit disrespecting Bud Crawford like this, man. If he thinks he can go up there and do it, I believe in him. I think that Bud will beat David if they do fight. I think he has the right style, and I think he's skilled enough to do it. And that's all I want to say, honestly, man. Peace. Appreciate you, man. Hopefully, more people hear your call and get inspired, you know what I mean? But also, hopefully, this gets spread out a little more and, and Bud sees the people saying that he can't beat him. That'll probably get him to, you know, want that fight a little bit more. Um, But, yeah. Let me get to Boxing Patron. What up? Patron, Patron. What's up, Ness? How, sound good? Straight. Man, I've been saying since day one when I heard, you remember when uh, Crawford beat Spence? Yeah. Right after that, they were talking, what you think? they asked him about Canelo. And he was like, no, nah, I'm not going up to that weight. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not, I'm good. You know what I mean? I'm cool where I'm at. He, did, he wasn't even talking about it. He was saying that shit. He didn't wake up one day and say, I, 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 I know I think it could be Canelo one day. You know what? He knows he, like he said, he had two more fights left. There's two fights left in the bank. Canelo to be the fight, the big money fight. That's what he knows. Now you want, now let's look at the, he, now Canelo said, you know, you're too small. You know what I mean? I the, uh, you're too small. You know what I mean? I get, uh, I don't want to go heads up with you because I'm not going to get no credit for it. I've been saying it, man. If you really want to force Canelo to do it, you'll move up and you'll whoop Jaime Munguia's ass, Berlanga's ass, or Benavidez's ass. 
Those three guys, one of those three guys, you just whoop one of their asses and the whole world will be shouting your name from the top of the mountain saying, Canelo, you got to get in the ring with this dude. It will fucking force him like none other, none other opponent ever. Not Triple G, not Benavidez, nobody. You know what I mean? But he's not going to do it because he's not serious about it. He's not going to go jump in the ring with Berlanga or Munguia or, um, or uh, Benavidez. It's it's just it's just not gonna happen. It's just he didn't want that Canelo fight. But including those other three fights right there, those are all money fights, right? Do you think that Mugia, um, Benavidez, or the three that I named, do you think any of the guys in his weight division will give him close to the money as those guys? Nah. Nah, right? Those are so that's the two money fights. Mungia and him and 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 Bud, man, on pay per view, shit, man, that's selling, man. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be a big fight. Mohim and Berlanga, that's huge, man. You know what I'm saying? And That's a big money fight, but he won't do it, dude. I guarantee you, he won't do it. He do it like I said, he wants that Canelo, and that's it, man. You know what I mean? And he ain't got, uh, to me, he ain't got no shot with either one of them. Now, all of a sudden, dude, you, I mean, if if, Bud, if if Canelo and Benavides is 50-50, you know, or 60-40 or kind of, you know, now all of a sudden, all these people that were saying Bud will get his ass, uh, will whoop Canelo's ass. All of a sudden, you don't want him to get in the ring with uh, Benavidez. What the fuck is that? Like, come on, man. You should be telling him, go in there and whoop his ass. Dude, if you can be Canelo, that's a big, two big paydays and retire. Shit, man, you think there'll be any question he ain't a top five pound for pound fighter in the world if he did that? You imagine that? Holy shit. Talk about legacy. Benavidez and Canelo back to back? Nah, we ain't gonna do it, dude. He ain't serious about that 168, man. He wants that payday. Payday. Bay day, it's all he wants, man. Nothing more. But all right, Ness, appreciate the grind, brother. Night Hendricks. Yo, you got me, Ness? Yes, sir. All right, shouts out to the boxing voice, man. Shouts out to the whole team. Hey, man, it sounded like Tip was scared, didn't it? What happened to all that? Keep Thurman, keep Thurman. That boy sounded like he had some fear in his heart just then, man. <laughs> I was talking about he used to call in, oh, Keith Thurman going to whoop his ass. Keith Thurman going to watch him now. And, Ness, you better tell him, tell Keith Thurman he better bring out one time. Keith Thurman better do what he got to do. Fuck out of here, that crybaby shit, man. That's the same motherfucker calling and talk that bullshit. But now you scared and worried. Got that fucking shook in your voice, man. Ain't no such thing as halfway crooks now. But, uh, man, Mayweather a fucking hater, man. Nobody cares about him hating, bro. The man's a hater. He see Crawford getting close to his record. Crawford can break it. Crawford got more knockouts. Crawford two. Two times undisputed champ. Bro, Floyd don't want that. Floyd want to be called the best ever. Because if Crawford go up there and beat fucking Canelo to become three times undisputed, which I think he going to beat Canelo, you know, if he do fight him, if he become three times undisputed, there's no question who's TVE then, right? That's right. Come on, man. You, you got y'all got to look at the play, man. He, he he's hating, and Crawford's up there with champions too. How many champions Crawford beat? I know it's in the double digits. I I know it's in the double digits. I know it's ten ten or more. Yeah, so, he got come about on, eleven, man. I think, or twelve, maybe. That's what I'm saying. And Floyd got what twenty five. You still in double digits? Twenty four, I believe. Twenty four. Okay, you're in double digits with champions, and you're a two-time undisputed champ. And if you beat Canelo, that's another champion to add to the resume and undisputed. Come on, man. That's TBE right there. That's TBE right there, man. They, people just hang on Crawford. Hey, fuck it. Crawford and Canelo, do what y'all want to do, man, because y'all didn't gave us these fights. Floyd did it. He out the game hating. Just how he hated on Haney, because Haney didn't sign. Haney fucking doing his thing. Haney, what, 31 and 0? Haney close to that fucking record. Haney didn't beat some champions, eight champions. Come on now. Floyd just a hater, man. You can see it. Like bro said, he didn't want to help Deontay Wilder at all when Deontay Wilder was knocking motherfuckers out. Because he still, 
Deontay Wilder still wasn't technical like that. But he was knocking motherfuckers out left and right with that right hand. Floyd wasn't there to help him be like, I love what you're doing, champ. Keep it up. But, you know, you got to you gotta throw that jab out there some more. You got to get more fundamentals in there. Floyd wasn't helping him out until he got his ass whooped. Then he want to come. Like with Shakur. Oh, now you want to be in the locker room when he fought De Los Santos. Now you, oh, Shakur, Shakur, Shakur did. Shakur, man, fuck out of here, Floyd. You seen the man had a bad performance. Like, anytime somebody have bad performances or a loss, you notice Floyd come around if they was close enough to his record or they talking about them being coming up as the next Floyd Mayweather or some shit. He hate on them. Like, come on, man, with the hate and shit. Because when he was coming up, motherfucker was saying he could be the next Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea didn't hate on him. R.I.P. the Sweet Pea. Like, come on with the bullshit, Floyd. Hang ass nigga, man. I don't like that shit. Yeah, he wasn't the best in the sport, but he wasn't the best haters there is, too. That's my call, man. All right, all right. Leo, what up? What up, Ness? Hey, Town. What's good? Hey, man, I got faith in Bud, man. Bud, my guy. And if you want to ride with the big boys, you got to fight all the big boys. You can't pick and choose because then you fall under the same logic. Everybody else talk about cherry picking. You know? So, hey, if he wants to go up, then he's got to face the sharks. And everybody talking about David, the, the head shark over there. Even though two years ago, nobody talking about David. Everybody talking about Spence. Spence was the big fish. Everybody's scared of Spence. Spence going to be Canelo. Spence going to beat everybody. But, you know, now we got the David Benavides narrative that all the Canelo haters riding with today. So, yeah, man, we're going to go up, go up. Okay, Canelo came from 140 all the way to 175. And he was about to go up to 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 200. Or what do what, what you want the catchway to be, 195 or something? Yep. So, I mean, you know what to say. Hey, the greats take risks. So, my dog's been taking risks. So, that was one more risk. He said the career is going to be over in maybe three to four fights. I think for the last time I heard. And, uh, I mean, that's that's one huge fight. One huge payday. Hey, hey uh, Ness, I've been looking for the whole article about where uh, where uh, Eddie says he wants 55. They didn't offer 55 million. But everybody has got the article cuts it off where, uh, where uh, he says that uh, that he didn't get no offers. That's it, and they cut it off. So I don't know. I don't know if somebody's paying that money to wipe it mm. from the internet, because it, it only goes halfway of the article. The first article was like two pages long, where he was uh, talking about all that. Had nobody, like, if anybody gives them fifty five million, they'll fight anybody. Where he laughs, you know. So that, I don't know, that's man. That's the been- one I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah, like and it's been cut off, Ness. I've been looking and looking and looking, and everybody has got a piece of it. It's only got the first like paragraph, Strange. you know. Yeah, man, you know how they, you know how they, when they start moving a certain way, they start getting shit off the internet. They could pay money, get it deleted. Mm. So that's my call, Ness. All right, champ, <laughs> you the man. Let's see, CYP. You got a mute chance. Yo, yo, yo. Yo. Um, uh, I do hate when people call in trying to sound smart, but <laughs> some of y'all need to listen to the show and hear yourself, because you'll realize how dumb you actually sound. You don't really sound that smart trying to sound all intelligent. I'm not gonna call them names, but I look at it like this. That I, I get what y'all saying, man. Like Bud's too small, man, and Bud need to do this and do that. But I could have swore to God Canelo told Benavidez and Andrade go fight each other, fight each other first. And I could have swore he fought Caleb Platt and he fought Andrade. Still don't want to fight him. So Bud fighting somebody to get Canelo is actually not a smart thing to do because Canelo has proven that that don't mean shit. Secondly, Bud is 36 years old. So you want him to go on this tour of fighting guys to get Canelo and then what, be 37 going on 38? When he finally gets Canelo to fight him, 
Uh, that's not happening. It being a two-time undisputed champion and beating the hell out of Earl Spence, who you agreed to fight if he would have won. So that that's fucked it up again. Damn it, man. How did I even get that far? Shit. Come on back. You signed a contract that says you would be cool fighting these smaller dudes, and one of them's at 147, but then the guy whoops that ass at 147 who's never lost a fight in his life that beat the hell out this man that's on an 11-fight knockout streak. That motherfucker is too small to fight? But not the dude who's not on the knockout street who got his ass knocked out by the dude? Damn it, that shit is crazy. What the fuck are y'all talking about? If you don't want blood to fight Canelo, just say you don't want to fight Canelo. Just explaining it will make you look like a duck. Just say, man, they ain't got to fight dude. He can do what he want to do. He's Canelo. That's a better argument than trying to explain it to the people because you got people like CYP on the job. And when I'm, when I'm on the job, Everybody's getting citations. You get a citation. You get a citation. Ain't nobody walking my, out my motherfucking classroom. Get your bitch ass back in the class and finish this lecture. This lecture says if you don't want to fight, bud, just say you don't. Fuck the goddamn excuses. Because there's dudes like Roberto Duran who moved up and fought big dudes and got his ass whooped, and y'all called him legendary for the shit. So let Bud be a legend. See why PR. Yo, 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 can you hear me? Word. Man, sorry for my TBX, brother, man, but it, it just sounds like, you know what I'm saying? TYP standing for a uh, call for your protected. You know what I'm saying? That's what she sounded like out here, man. Like, y'all off the chain today. It's like I said, man, they pulled up. And bulletproof trucks looking like 50 cent, you know what I'm saying? And now they, now they out of control, bro. Uh, look, man, I, I heard Mike Hendricks, man. He called in, you know, said I sound scared. But, I mean, Mike, you sound more scared than me. I mean, y'all keep bringing up this whole Floyd situation, you know what I'm saying, where Floyd just want to protect his image, you know what I'm saying, as being the greatest of all time. Nah, bro. The truth is, y'all just don't want Bud you know, move up and have somebody put him in a tough fight. That's what it is, bro. Y'all scared Bud gonna lose, man. That's just the truth of the matter. Yeah, like, listen to your own call, bro. You said, I think Bud could go, go there and beat Canelo easy. Damn, well, I mean, shit. If he could beat Canelo easy and he could become this old, you know what I'm saying, face of boxing shit, you know what I'm saying, become an all-time great without, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and Canelo's declining, I mean, how good is Bud really, bro? How good is Bud really? How, how, let's, like, let's really think about this. Wouldn't it be better if Bud actually went up there and fought the toughest guy out there, the guy that Canelo's ducking, the guy that Canelo doesn't want to fight? I mean, bro, y'all got to stop the bullshit. Take off your security vest. Turn your badges in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, unload the clip. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and just resign, man, because I'm making Bud Crawford look bad right now. I thought he was pound for pound number one. Ain't he pound for pound number one? Like, like, like so what's, what's all this talk about, you know what I'm saying, weight matters now. When you pound for pound number one? Y'all, y'all making your boy look bad, man. I just hope one day uh, y'all grow some cojones. You know, y'all step up and fight Benavidez. I mean, somebody got to do it if Canelo not going to do it. Somebody got to do it. But, yeah, that's it, man. Shout out to Mike Hendricks. Uh... You can return your bulletproof vest at any time, man. J -j 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 -j. I... Um, let's see what we got. G ball, what up? What's going on, this? Chilling, chilling. What up with you? Man, no much. Man, some of these callers, y'all got to quit bringing up Floyd and Devin when it comes to... Not Floyd. Y'all got to quit bringing up Bud and Devin when it comes to Floyd, man. Floyd, Floyd is bigger than boxing. I don't care what them two guys do. They won't, won't be on Floyd level whatsoever. Quit doing them dumbass comparisons. In the ring and out the ring. There's another thing. I think I think that'd be a good fight. I'd pay to watch Bud versus uh, David. 
I know a lot of these fans act like Bud Jesus and shit. You know, he can do anything possible. Y'all got so much faith in him. I think it'll be a good a good fight, good entertaining fight. And another thing, some of these Mexican callers, y'all got to quit hating, hating on David, man. Y'all sound ignorant as hell, like he had a choice to uh, come out full-blown Mexican or not. Y'all sound ignorant. But appreciate you, Ness. Good Thank show tonight. You. Thank you, champ. Thanks for uh, tuning in and for participating. Um, That's everybody. We got... Broderick Sims, welcome to the champ. BK Mike, welcome to the prospect level. Don Gotti, salute for the $10. So wasn't Andre and Benavidez the same situation? Y'all both want Canelo, so fight each other. Then David beats him, and now he got to fight Bud for the same reason? No, 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 no. But Floyd is saying, y'all can't get. Canelo. Y'all both want Canelo. Just fight each other. And I'm going to close it with the math again, right? Um, if Bud fights Canelo at the normal rate, they need a minimum of $40 million, right? And that's Canelo's $35 million plus, let's say, Bud's... Uh, mandatory minimum that Canelo gives according to Jose and David of five. So you got to divide that $40 million into $80 pay-per-views, which means they need to make 500,000 pay-per-views to cover Bud and Canelo. And that's breaking even without paying the provider and not including your gate, obviously. But right, if you do that same number... For Bud and David, they make more money because they have a smaller mandatory minimum, right? They got $5 million each, which is 10 Then you got all that $32 million to split, you know what I mean? Plus the gate. It's more money in a David fight. You know, they just got to sit down to the table and, you know, Yo. put pencil to paper. What up? What up with you, champ? What you up to, man? Another show, baby. Another show. Another show. Hey, man, you got to check your DMs. I will after uh, I get out of work. I bet I got a little special gift for you waiting on, up in there for you. Hey, uh, if you can, Ness, my bad. I'm not calling in and talking to the show right now. If you can, though, can you text my cell phone number? You remember my number? You still got it on your phone, right? For sure. All right, hey, re uh, reach out to me when you uh, get a chance, like right after the show. All right. All right. Hey, and before I go, hold up, hold up. Shout out TBV. Like, comment, subscribe. It's free. Uh, make sure y'all join the members only. Hey, I'm about to do that. Uh, other than that, fuck Canelo. It's Team Crawford all fucking day, baby. I'm out. All right. Um, let's see here. We got Brandon. Yo. Yo. Yeah, it seemed like a some mess. It seemed like a whole bunch of roadblock going on. In the, you know. Roadblock. I know what Floyd. How is it a roadblock? Seems like just another roadblock. I mean, they throw bananas on the road, you know, banana pills. How, on how is it a roadblock, road. though? Like, last I checked, I mean, David it's just another dude. I mean, last I checked, David announced he was moving up to 75. So, this ain't got nothing to do with Canelo. Floyd said, fight David since you want Why? Canelo and Why? he wants Canelo. What you mean? So, you just said it had nothing to do with Canelo. You just said, since Canelo. Yeah. Was why, yeah, why did... Meaning it ain't it don't mean y'all gonna get them. It means y'all can't get them, so fight each other. <laughs> so, did you not? So why can't we interview? stop there? Why, why do we stop there and say no, y'all can't get them? No, 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 but 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 why but do we Brandon, not just stop there and Brandon, say y'all can't get them? Brandon, why? Brandon, Brandon, since you're so outraged, tell the world is Crawford versus David not a bigger fight than David versus Alexander Vazdek? 
I mean, it is a bigger oh, okay, fight, but it's like another. Okay. It's a it's a now dog wait, shit now circus wait, now fight. Wait, now wait, you know? now wait, now wait. I'm against these. Now wait. I'm against is, these dog shit circus fights. Is man. David versus Mabilly bigger than Crawford versus David? No. Okay. Uh, David Bazianin. Bro, you know there there's, there's events and then there's actual okay. there's, there's big so, events and then so, there's big so fights. So essentially, like. essentially, what you're telling me is Ness, you know that nobody versus David in 168 other than Canelo is bigger than Crawford versus David. That's what you're telling me in short. I mean, bro, that's a big event because it's oh, two I, names, but it's oh, like I, not then. a good fight. Oh, I, then. So you why think it's a good fight? So why you mad at Floyd for getting because, because because you wanna, your boy? Because you wanna, 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 you did Canelo, you wanna, did Canelo not fight Khan? Yes or no? Fight. Did Canelo not that fight Khan? Yes or no? Fight. Yes or no? Yes or no? Dog yes shit no? circus okay. fight. But he he did right. And I'm tired of. But did he did right? You know yeah, he did. Okay. So what? Now 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 did Gennady did Gennady not fight Kelbro? He did. Okay. Now did Lomachenko not fight Rigandow? Dog shit. Circus fights, man. So, like, all I'm showing you is that this is part of what? boxing, and you're upset because it's part of boxing. Yeah, take, I am upset because it's part of boxing. You. You're right. That's exactly right. Take That's exactly right. Take the alley great. and be happy. Great, great, great take way to put that. Take I'm upset because it's part of boxing. I am upset because it's part of boxing. Okay. That's a problem. And that's cool. like you, you, you know, like I said, every time you get a dog shit circus fight, you're. you're, you're you're throwing away other meaningful fights that actually could happen in the division. Chance. And you keep doing it and keep overlooking it. They've given you, keep you doing an alley -oop and you're upset. It's not, it's they, not an alley -oop, they, bro. They it's it, it's they another roadblock. They're giving your man. What's the biggest fight in boxing? This? He's talking his, his, about what big fight is, but what's the biggest fight in boxing? What? You keep talking about what's big in the six. Like, what's the biggest fight in boxing? The biggest fight in boxing? Usyk versus yeah. Fury. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. Never even talking about that fight. Heavyweight undisputed hasn't been done. Heavyweight undisputed yes. hasn't you been done in how many years? You said a couple years ago, versus Canelo's been in fighting boxing. You said that. You ain't say shit about Uzi or Fury. You ain't mentioned none of that. My so I'm trying to say it now. Just say it out of a conversation. When's the last time the heavyweight division has been undisputed? It Canelo it already it's undisputed. Like Canelo, Canelo already undisputed that division. That shit ain't big, man. It was big as was never happened. What's never happened is <laughs> wow. Tyson. So you said, now, you, now you saying it's not the biggest fight in boxing, nah, just a winning argument. I'm trolling, you have no shame. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. I said, come on, man. You, say, you have no shame. That's the winning fucking argument. I'm trolling. Oh, I'm God trolling. damn. I'm trolling. Okay. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Okay. I'm just saying. Now, so you want to overlook the biggest fight in boxing to make a a a a. a, a a consolidation but fight. David, and, I mean, look at you. You got me calling you David. Uh, that's right. But Brandon, you're overlooking the fact that A, Canelo clearly doesn't want to fight David. B, I'm not overlooking. That's B, what I'm talking about. That's what I'm pointing listen out. Me. Listen to me. B, David clearly knows he's not getting Canelo and has decided to go fight someone no one wants. So C, Crawford, the alternative is way better. That's it. Everything else That's is it. everything so, else is my dude. Like, like, what are we reporting today? That Canelo still wants fucking Charlo. Like David. Exactly. But but but, exactly. but, but Brandon. Okay. No, okay. So, like, so let me ask you a question. No, 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 because no, 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 here's the problem I got. Because what no, would you want us to do talk. though? What would you want us to do? Yeah, what would you want us to do? Like, listen, people call into the show saying Al Heyman and PBC. You know, I'm not no Al Heyman defender, no PBC, but they were saying it's bad business to try to amend the contract and try to switch the names out. But we know that the original contract, it was Charlo and Spence. But today we find out there's an amended contract that he signed and it was okay with. But then when they offered an amended contract with Benavidez on it, he declined. What? Where you but they said that, that was bad from? business. Say so what? Where you get that news from? What do you mean? What news? What, 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 which piece of news? That he signed the amended contract. I ain't seen nothing like that. Well, I mean, you know, it's not confirmed yet, but you know, you're right. Let me, because the words matter. Let me, let me take that back. There's speculation that 
Mongia, and then Charlo is what he wants, right? No. So he's okay with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. What That's you mean? what he wants. That's what he wants. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So, so, so that's an amended contract, no? Yeah, but what is that not amended? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so whenever that, uh, not a few days ago, they were saying that's bad business. You can't switch up on Canelo. You can't, you can't change the contract at the last minute. You can't switch the names out because yeah, Al, they they can't. They can't. But can't. Then he just switched it out, and it's you okay. Can't. But, but listen, you forgetting that you can't do that, and that's why he walked. And all the reports have been that he's going back to the table. So it's like... And a new contract, miss. Huh? Right? This is not a new deal. This is a new deal. This is a whole new deal. What you're no, no. You got to read the reports. Y'all terrible. It literally I says... I read the reports. I'm asking you because under my, in my estimation, that's a that's a amended contract. No. From the they, original. They literally say he's he came back to the table to try and revive the original three-fight deal. They ain't even... <laughs> Mungir was not on the original 3 5 deal. my point. My dude. Right? He all, was I, on. all I can tell you is what's reported. What you've been saying is what you feel and your emotions. I'm just like, yo, where are you getting it from? Then you're like, oh, I right, let me tell you the truth. That ain't... Like, yo, I'm just telling you. So the, truth is, the, truth is, is that... the, the truth is they use the word revive, which means bring yeah. back the life, and they use yeah. the phrase three fight. Which means his existing contract. So, so uh, based on what so, Dan reported, so, so, was, so yes, you are right. If they add in Mongia, that is an amendment of the Charlo, okay Charlo Charlo. Uh, 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 so uh, that amendment Earl. is okay, but the one with Benavidez is not. We not take we we walk we take no. my we taking our ball and go home. But that's what I'm saying. Wh why can't we get a report of that Benavidez shit? What do you mean? Dan reported it already. He said he was willing to give him the money for Charlo if he would accept Benavidez in September. Yeah. He turned. He said, but no, but I'm taking that, my ball to this album. But where's that figure, though? That's what I'm saying. Why Why we never get that figure? Why? I mean, why, 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 well, why, based, why, based on the oh, audience, that's people calling in. Oh, calm down. PC didn't have the oh, money oh, to pay for that, right? Oh, 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 calm down. He didn't have the calm money down. to pay. Calm down, calm down. He didn't why, have the money why, to pay why, for being a beat ass. That's why he left. Let them tell it. But then now, oh, now he come back. They oh, got the money go. now? Here we go. How they got the money now? Hey, did, they, did they get a payday hey, loan? Hey, Was it a payday loan or what? Champ, champ, champ. Okay, I'm just asking. Deflecting. Stop the I'm deflecting. Stop the I'm deflecting. Stop the I just want to know. I'm asking because you, I heard that. That's why, that's why he left because they didn't have the oh money for him God, to pay for Benavidez. Emotion. He's emotional. He's emotional. They didn't have the money to pay for Benavidez. That's what they told me on this show. You're and right. then, but then he comes back and now they got the money for Mugia and Charlo. I mean, where did that money come from? Did, did Jeff Bezos send a check? Or, I mean, how did that happen? Brandon. I thought PBC was broke. Brandon. You sound so ignorant right now because you didn't read the oh, reports. If I you, sound ignorant. If you, okay. allow, if you allow me to speak, you keep saying, where did they get the money from? My bro, my bro, they reporting the same thing. Al Heyman is standing on his 10. He still only wants Munguia. The same shit they've been telling you. Canelo still wants his $35 million for Charlo. The same shit they've been telling you. Nothing has changed. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying no, but, I'm saying but, that but, but, the but, narrative no, was... No, 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 no. You can't move on. You have to comprehend that. You're sitting here yelling and telling the audience that, oh, there was no money. Now they got money. Would they get a check? Jeff Bezos. All this bullshit you just made up and wasted our time. <laughs> they, I didn't make up nothing. Dude. Not the one who you, made up shit. The, 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 the made up shit is PPC is broke. You're not comprehending. You're making up shit. You yelling and making up shit is saying PPC is broke. My dude. Right? Ain't that making up shit? Because that sounds like making up shit, saying oh, PBC man. is broke. They don't have the money to pay for Benavidez's fight. That's why he left, because they, Al is doing bad business, and they broke. He, and he's going to anywhere, and he got the money to pay for the fight. That's making up shit. I'm saying, if they didn't have the money to pay for Benavidez's fight, then how the fuck did they got the money to pay for Mongia and Charlo? You just sound That's ignorant. what I'm saying. Again, you sound ignorant. You sound because, ignorant. Because, yeah, ignorance because, is saying that PBC ain't got money. That's ignorant. Every, every, That's single, ignorant. every single report has already said that Al Heyman wants to pay $35 million for Munguia. So you keep asking where they get the money from. It's like they've been had the money. They just Bro, don't I'm not the one who said they, they have just money. Don't wanna, they just don't want to pay for Charlo. 
That's it. And it's the same report. It's it, it's. I didn't listen. I'm not saying it. I'm saying thing. Thing. he went back to the. I'm, table, just, I'm talking about you. And they still I'm talking to about your callers. And they not willing to pay for Charlo. So like, I don't get what you wasting everybody's time for. Well, I'm wasting everybody's time. So you mean to tell me? So you're saying that the reports today is that he still wants. So that's not gonna happen. Is what you're saying? That he's not gonna fight Jamal, Jamal Charlo in September. Well, that's what it's looking like. It's looking like. Well, like, it's okay. Like I mean, that's what I'm saying. The only difference is the amended contract. One has Mungir's name on it, and the other one had Benavidez's name on it. He he turned one down with Benavidez's name on it, and accepted the other one because they're basically the same thing, just in different no, order. No, you you're not even listening. Yes, you're not even listening, bro. First of all, Al is saying no to Charlo. So accept what, bro? Accept him fighting him in September. He, he didn't want to fight him. Like he said, I don't want to pay you. Unless I'm, you're fighting Benavidez in September for Charlo, right? That's what he said, according to Dan. Okay, and what's that number? It was $35 million for for Charlo. He was going to give him the full guarantee no, if he I'm agreed to about, fight David in September. I'm talking about, yeah, what's the David number? Who knows what the oh, That's never been reported. Oh, oh. Oh, and, and, and you see, this is where okay, so David, what are you applying? Is it enough? This like, is, they didn't offer enough? This is where David Benavidez fans lose the plot, right? We got Vito Minalecki saying 70 million. We got Samson Lewikovich saying 55 million. We got David Benavidez saying 60 million. We got, and we got Canelo saying no. We got to all Jose, of them. We got Jose saying uh, a different price, right? So uh, like, I mean, what like, does he need? And, what and you, then, how much you need? And then, and then, guess what? And then, guess what? Nobody has anything on paper. There's no report. <laughs> There's no report of hey. one offer. Look, all I know that Eddie is right. Eddie Reynoso is right because you can't find me one report of Canelo being offered David Benavides for X, Y, Z amount of dollars if the source is not. Samson Lewikovich. You can't. So, what are you saying? Like, the, yeah. I'm are you applying that the saying, number is just I'm because saying, they don't have the numbers? It was too low. I'm saying that you can't find Dan Rayfield saying Benavidez was offered X amount of dollars and his source is not Samson. You can't find Coppin just saying Benavidez offered X amount of dollars. Please. Show me. The only just, number just we got. Me. The only number we got next is that. The only me. number we got I is, is David told me to to your face okay. that he was willing to take a five million dollar flat fee and let the dude have everything and plus yeah. pay per view upside. Hey, yo. That's what he told hey, yo. you. Hey yo, and that's cool, right? But now, since you want to believe that, we also have to believe the father, who's the manager, who said the exact opposite, right? David said five. What did he say? Well, you heard the interview. It got over 10,000 views. David yeah. said David said he took a $5 million uh, pay for that, which he implied. He never said he implied it was a flat fee, but his father said $5 million. Then he said $5.5 in the same interview with pay-per-view upside. So maybe you should go back and listen. I mean, it is what it is. Man. Oh, Bottom it, line is, it is uh, what it is. So, so your you team, know, your team can consistently, all I know, your team can consistently contradict themselves, and it is. What you it can is. hide behind that. You can hide behind okay. that, but I can hide behind. I can hide behind three contracts, like a uh, decline. Uh, um, yeah. You know, we need decline yeah. contract again, three times. Again, I can hide behind again, that as keep, well. You keep mentioning. You three, said, that, I guess you, you said the number is not enough. You keep mentioning three contracts. We just want to see one report. With any of those three contracts you saying with a dollar figure hey, attached man. to David's name, uh, please. Hey, you know, this is oh, this is sad, man. You, you know, like, like I told you earlier, you you know, I can only imagine. You can't produce it. I can only imagine. This is a as Crawford the show. Producer. I can He's only the what they say about Crawford. He's the producer. I can only imagine can't what they say about Crawford if he went to the PBC and signed a three fight deal without Spence on it. I can only imagine what they say about Crawford if he did that. You know, I, I know uh, he'll be everything under the sun, especially you, Ness. If he signed a three fight deal with our spirits on it, hey, ha! Hey, no, hey, dude, I tell you what, but my dude, it'll be that kind of proper everything that you're saying. My dude, like my that. dude what, it's okay if it's Canelo, though. I, I it's okay. When is it okay? My title has a crying face. I literally said I don't want the Charlo fight. What, what yeah, are you I know. Talking about? He's giving you that. 
He's giving you that though. You know, that's what he was insisting on. He don't not, care about what the fans he's want. He's not. Because, you know, it's crazy, man. He's not because Al Heyman is sticking to his guns. He said no, and now the zone needs to do the same and say no and not give anything but Munguia. And that's it. Close the doors on him. It's that simple. If you don't want it, yeah, I, I don't want it. Hey, I get it, man. You know, and like I said, it, the fact that this, all this has to be done to get and able to get the fight, like in order to get the fight, it's, it's pretty telling to me. You talking about close the doors. Yeah. And David needs to go to, I heard a dude call him and say, David needs to go to the press conferences. And, like, damn, yeah. he got to do all that, of that. That's what Laura wow. did. He got to do all that. Yeah. The WBC got to force this man. He's got to, you gotta force the mandatory. David yeah. gotta put this. Yeah, that's what, do all that's, 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 what, what, that's what Gennady had to do. Yeah, motherfucker. God, yeah. Yo. yeah. Yo, that's crazy. What the man. fuck? It's that's crazy. boxing. Like, you don't watch it boxing. Ain't boxing. It ain't boxing. Cause we seen him request to fight people before. So it ain't boxing. So Gennady didn't have to do that? He didn't have to get it. I'm just saying. Well, no, I know, listen. So I know why do you keep lying? Listen. Why do you keep lying to the audience? I know. Listen, I know Abney Yildrum ain't have to um do all that. No, because he was mandatory. No, because Canelo did. Canelo requested to to do that man. Exactly. Right so he can he can request to fight somebody then, right? He can do that. So he's capable of doing that, but he ain't doing that in this situation. But so which, is David. Which is, but so is David. What you mean? He's capable of get of, of forcing his mandatory, but instead he moved up to seventy five. Bro, he's bro, never been bro, like voted the mandatory bro, man. Bro. Instead. Why you they keep still lying? Ain't, it's March. Why you keep lying? It's March. They still ain't named in the mandatory. Why you keep still lying? still not named mandatory. They, they named him the mandatory in fucking 2022. Why you keep lying, bro? bro? he did not, bro. He did not. Ask Mauricio. We need, right, we need to get Mauricio on the show, man. Let's All get right. Mauricio on the show. Have a good night, man. So I, 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 hey, listen, I'm tired of, I'm tired of arguing about Canelo. David moved on. I moved on. This is my last call. About Canelo and David. Right, this is my last one. You ain't it's our last on. debate about it. You I'm ain't, done. You ain't I'm move done. on. If you would have moved on, you would have. I moved on now. If you would have, if you would have moved on, you would have accepted the alley oop from Floyd. It ain't no alley oop. It's a dog shit circus fight. Realize that what you just said ten seconds ago. David moved on. I'm moving on. Floyd's throwing me an alley oop. Let me slam. Floyd. Duncan. It's disingenuous, man. Floyd ain't serious about this shit. He got you he, it's an serious. ulterior motive you to all this serious. shit. You He's ain't an ulterior serious. motive, man. You ain't serious. It's not a real. You ain't that's serious. A, a disingen- it's alley you. Yes. It's alley you. Take it, man. There's nobody want to see that shit, man. Let Crawford fight whoever you want to fight, man. This dude ain't finna fight no Benavidez. I'm gonna tell you that because it's gonna yeah. be an ugly night if he did. That's not happening. So let, let Crawford yeah, move you, on with his career. You rather see? You rather see Vaz that? Which is crazy. Man, listen, which I, is crazy because if you a member, I don't see Benavidez versus Canelo, but we can't have that because the dude don't want to fight. If you a member, you heard, you heard, you heard, uh, you heard Benavidez tell me right in my face, the dude can't punch. Yeah, yeah. I mean it is what it is, man. Yeah, no, I, I mean, know, I know, know, I know, but only, so you want you want, only you, Canelo, you can do moving that through weight class. Only you Canelo, Canelo moving that through weight class. Only Canelo, like, only on, Canelo bro, cherry picks. Only Canelo. It's not even gonna be like I don't want to see that for Crawford. Only I don't. Oh, no, only Canelo. Like I don't. Only Canelo cherry picks, right? Who's cherry picking? I, who's going to be cherry picking in this scenario? I don't know. What was my last statement? Wait a minute. Like who's cherry picking in this scenario? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me. Let me. Let Let me say something without being interrupted. Because the dude got the interim belt. Uh, like how the fuck is he cherry picking the interim? You can't talk to this guy. I gotta go. I gotta go. Let you go. You're crazy. But uh, you know, people like to not keep the same energy, right? But Truly, this is the definition of a cherry pick, right? Like, the dudes had three tune-ups, none worth mentioning. The dude was retired four years ago. They requested to fight him for the interim. Like, do you need more evidence? So what he's laughing at Canelo for doing, right? Oh, he requested Yeardom. Okay. Your man's in them just requested Vazdek. You see, everything is always bad when it's Canelo. But when everybody's favorite fighter's doing it, it's okay. Now, did Benavidez wait for his mandatory to be ordered? Yes or no? The answer is no. He literally just had to wait for March 1st. He, he had decided to announce four days earlier. It was weird. It was weird. But then again, he was already on the phone 
as a team, right? He said it in my interview. Louis DeCuba set this up. But maybe that interview's not out. Maybe it's only members only. And maybe my own producer is a little hater and not a member and hasn't heard it. But again, you got all these people doing things for you and you don't know what's going on. You got the father accepting the fight and doesn't know that Eddie Reynoso is the manager. You got the son also not knowing that that is a Team Canelo guy. You got Louis de Cubas reaching out to the WBC, setting up a fight with Vazdek on behalf of Benavidez. Because, I mean, I don't know which I want me to believe. That he doesn't know that, you know, Eddie manages him and that's why they did you know, they never talked to him because Louis did everything. So then it was never David that requested Mauricio to let him fight for the interim versus Vazdek because Louis did everything. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what y'all want me to believe. But whatever story you choose to believe, just know that it could be the same way. Yeah, they accepted an offer. And Canelo never got one, just like Eddie says. Just like Brandon cannot produce an article that says Canelo was offered X amount of dollars to fight David Benavidez and the source not be Samson Lewickovich. You can't produce it, which is weird to me. I don't know. Somebody send it to me so I could shut up and stop saying it. H-Town, what up? What up, Ness? Hey, hey, Ness, you need to get that uh, that why you always lying on the soundboard for the Benavides fans. Because they, they, they're going, no facts. No facts. Like you said, how you so-called accept that $5.5 million to fight Canelo? You say yes. But like a week later, you you go, I'm going to fight another Reynoso fighter. But you already said yes to Canelo. You don't even wait to hear back from them or nothing because you know they're going to say no. Man, shit don't add up, Ness. Shit don't add up. And these people just keep on saying, I'm not saying Canelo wants to fight David, but clearly Canelo has stated that he wants the money to fight David. He hasn't said he's not going to fight him. His issue is financially. Has nothing to do with not fighting him. But all this bull crap the Benavides side is coming out with, it, it makes you feel like they're the ones that are trying to buy time, maybe waiting for David to get his game a little tighter, a little better, may, maybe waiting for Canelo, Canelo to get a little older, a little slower, then fight him because they, they make no sense. They take one step uh, or two steps back. Every, every time they come out in the news, the dad's saying one thing, the manager's saying another thing, and then David's saying something else. They're supposed to be. They can't be this stupid, man. That's all I'm saying. They can't be this stupid. That they all contradict themselves. And nobody's on the same story. Everybody's story is different. So when everybody's story is different, what does that lead you to believe? Who's telling the truth? You know. So says so when it, I know a lot of us are from the hood and the street. When shit don't add up, then it, then it ain't the truth. But you want to make it the truth because you hate Canelo. They just say I hate Canelo. I want to fight David. I don't know whose fault it is. But, but you know, I want the fight. They didn't stop saying, oh, he's a duck, he's a duck, because Canelo made it clear that he wants the money. Put the money on the table, he'll fight anybody. So, I mean, what's so hard about understanding that? That's like you get a job, and they're like, hey, I need you to, to build me a house, but I need the money. And you'd be like, nah, I'll give you the money, um, maybe. And you know what? I'll give you the money when you build a house, and as soon as you build a house, he, he tells you, oh, you build it too small. So no, no, I'm gonna only pay you this this much. It, it it don't work like that, man. You get a contract, you get a certain amount of money, and if that's what you agree to, that's what you're gonna fight for, man. You can't just switch it up because the fans want to. That's not the way life is, man. They need they need to grow the hell up. Stop crying about this. The Benavides team is don't got their fucking ducks. Let's use it. They don't got their ducks in a row. But you know they lying. It is what it is. All I got, Ness. All right. Now, look, I I, I didn't want to wait around for someone sending me a link. And, and, and I promise you, it's, it's, it's very difficult to find it. Like, I'm literally reading, and uh, even Mike Tyson is talking about this mythical $60 million. No one knows where the 60s is coming from. You know, no one knows where the 60s is coming from. This article that I'm reading, right, 
says the Mexican mom. Let me uh, mute this here. This is shit is crazy, bro. I'm telling you. Dudes are freaking crazy. Because Google is your friend. The Mexican monster, David Benavidez, claims that he's willing to take $5 million purse. FYI, guys, this is quoting my article. They linked it and everything. They're quoting my interview, right? Cool. So they go on to say Canelo and that he would receive 60. So again, that's David telling me in my interview 60. Now, nobody knows anything about that. And David, even in my interview, says, yo, you know, everything isn't on paper. Everything is on Instagram for y'all to see. Cool. So he's saying on the back door, they offered Canelo $60 million. Cool. Eddie Reynoso says he revealed that there was never a $55 million offer, so it's really unclear where David Benavides is saying there was a $60 million offer. You know, again, can we just see anything that states that there was a that big of an offer that's not coming from, like, Samson and David and Jose? Like, it's just weird. I'm, I just want a, a, another source. There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with asking for another source. Because, I mean, last I checked, Samson deleted his shit, too. So, I don't know what Brandon was getting so mad at. LV Slugger. TBV. You uh, how it sound? Straight. Uh, yeah, man. You know, uh, Floyd doing what he does best. You know what I mean? Just throwing up roadblocks, trying to prevent. I feel like the the biggest fight in boxing. You know what I mean? Uh I, it's no guarantee Bud goes up and beat Benavidez. He'll get the Canelo shot. Like Brandon been heading on. Like Benavidez has yet to been named nah, Mando. Floyd, Floyd never said that, though. Floyd just said, you can't get Canelo. He can't get Canelo. Y'all should just fight each other. That's what I'm saying. He He's always in the news on somebody else. Pav the great one is trying to. Say what they should do, like you know, that man gonna do what he what he feels necessary for his career. You know what I mean? Floyd's always throwing his two cents in, trying to tell somebody what to do, but you know, Bud gonna do what, like I said, what he feels necessary. And I don't feel like him jumping up trying to fight Benavidez is necessary because Benavidez has yet to be named Mando. You know what I mean? Uh, him going up facing Canelo, it'll be him chasing greatness, being three time undisputed. And uh, another pound for pound fighter. Uh, I, I'm not sure Benavidez has cracked the pound for pound list yet. You know what I mean? So I mean, but who's to... really the man, though? Is is Canelo the man or is Benavidez the man? I mean, who's undisputed? Okay, so it's about the belts. Absolutely. I mean, that's Buzz already hit on that. You oh, know, he, I he know because chasing... so many callers call in and they be like, "Yo, Ness, you know he just." He just uh, became undisputed because David dropped the belt and David lost his belt. So they always, I mean, up until now, everybody act like Canelo really ain't the man, that David's the man, and Canelo just swooped in and, you know, stole the opportunity. But David definitely deserves glad, his shot. I'm glad you don't feel that way because I don't. I knew that wasn't yeah, the case. He deserves his shot. He deserves his shot, absolutely, but there's one man that got all the belts, so, I mean... Is undisputed, and that's what he's going for. You know, when we talk this undisputed shit, Bud basically kicked this shit off, man. This undisputed area, what he did at 140, and then, you know all these other bosses basically just fell in line, and he was the first to be two time undisputed. Now you talking three time undisputed against Canelo, like that's just some unheard of shit. Then you jumping up three weight class, and he's not gonna have the luxury of putting these guys at a catch weight. And fighting at I whatever mean, Cana weight fits. Canelo ain't put no, I mean, in no catch weight, so you know. I'm just saying, with Floyd in his era, he he had the luxury of where he could have probably well, went made, up. He made it clear. He made it clear in that interview. Actually, he you know that wasn't him. He said he said he said that you know it was it was Canelo's team in the interview. So they you know that's how they approached it. I'm just I'm just saying that's not the only fight. Is that the only fight he he fought at a catch weight? Is the Canelo? Um, he he fought the Marquez last minute catch where he blew weight, you know, so he paid. 
That's what I'm saying. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Floyd did what he did. All-time great, but at the same time, you know, Floyd had that luxury to where he, if he wanted to go up and face a Triple G, he could have put that man at a catch weight to where it benefited him. You know what I mean? For sure. We, we never got that. But but we got Canelo. I mean, Bud, who who doesn't has that. He's, he wouldn't be the A-side against Canelo the way he wouldn't be able to bring Canelo down to a weight that benefits him. He'll have to go straight to 168, no catch weight, and basically there to be great. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. Like, So if Bud's able to get this fight, in which I feel like I said, the biggest fight in boxing, you know what I'm saying? I think it does bigger than Tank Ryan. You know what I mean? That, or something similar to that number. You know what I mean? Bud doing what he just did with Spence. It's just the weight class thing. I'm not saying he'll beat Canelo, but I just think the the black and the Mexican thing always brings out the, the boxing fans, the casuals, and, and and uh, you know, the casuals don't too much understand what's really going on with him jumping up three weight classes. So, uh, you know, I just want to see it. You know, just see it, see if he can do something we've never seen before. And like I've been saying before, you know, that will really stamp his himself as being the the modern day Sugar Ray. For sure, man. But so uh I just want to see what Bud do next. Uh does next. You know what I mean? Uh hopefully he can get back active soon. And uh I just want to see him in the ring, the number one pound for pound guy, man. So uh, I definitely want to see him back. Chance, so hopefully that's we get the him. Bell. Now I'm 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 feeling the same. Like bro's been out the ring now months already, I think. That's crazy. He gotta do something. But till the next one, that's GTO, Instagram, and Twitter. We got Mad Bet with $2, Daily Dose of Tank Will, Canelo Duck David, Tank Will, 2024, though. Peace.